Powering on. Charging battery. Mic off. So Lily, would you prefer Cloudy or Lily from now on? What's going on everybody? Welcome back. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. I hope you're ready to get back into more your turn to die. To potentially see our friends die. What is going on Rune? What is going on Term? Term, you're an evil bastard. Congratulations on your first. Um, I, it's really fucked up what you did to your friend, man. I have everything set up for stream. I just need headphones. Ah, yeah, well, I'm glad you figured out the, uh, the issue was your headset mic. I kind of assumed that based on the software not working when you changed it. I assumed it was something with your headphones, but uh, I hope you're really excited because I'm excited. I want to check out the stream. Lily's still okay? Okay, got it. Gotta give him some hope. Fucking diabolical, bro. Absolutely evil. Maniacal. Twisted, even. Straight up debaucherous. Is debaucherous a word? I don't know. I'm still recovering from the weekend. If my English is messed up, that's just a uh, par for the course. And also because I have to dive back into your turn to die. And I don't know what type of psychological trauma we're going to go through today. Is a friend going to die? Is a robot going to torture us again with uh, mementos of a dead friend? Are we going to have to hallucinate our dead friend choking us again? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? But that's, that's the fun part of life, right? You never know if you're going to get hit by a truck that day. Or if you're going to get like a free ice cream cone when you go to the store. It's all a complete and utter mystery. Gotta give it. Oh, fucking hell. Did it change the full of Lily from Lilith or Lilac? Because apparently Lilith is a bad person in the Bible. Lilith is a demon, I think. I think you're right about that, uh, Lily. If I remember my Bible lore correctly. I've not watched a Bible, a Bible lore video in a long time. But, I mean, to be fair, that book's like a couple thousand years old, so... I guess if everything's spoiled for me, it doesn't really matter anymore. <laughs> But lilac's nice. Lilac's the uh, the flower, no? Wait, actually, is that? Hmm. Let me turn off music. But I hope you're all rested uh, and ready to dive in. Fuck you, Lily. And I didn't get you earlier, so I'm gonna give you a good squeak right now. 
So when are you planning uh, on start streaming? Okay, let's put that here. And then I think we are Gucci to get started up in here. Let's get the party started. Mm, which one of these did I leave on on last time? I think it was this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think she wanted to talk, right? Yeah, but uh, I had a good time uh, on this weekend. I just kind of went to a festival with some friends. Pretty sick. Lots of music. Lots of artsy type things. Uh, and CC, what's going on, man? Thank you so much for the resubscription of four months. Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing today, man? How was your weekend and what are you up to? If not tomorrow, then my next day off is the 21st, I believe. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'll definitely check that out. But CC, what is up, homie? What is up? Should we talk to Reiko? Let's talk to Reiko. But yeah, I was completely fucking beat yesterday. I'm still like a little beat today, but we are here and we are ready for pain. Uh, she was like a fucking whole ass smoker, right? <clears throat> damn it. Even after all this searching, ain't no sign of way to escape. Goddamn mean game. I don't want to do this shit twice. Let me, let me take a fucking drink. Oh my God. How the fuck did I do that voice the whole stream? Ah, okay. Ah, God. I guess I got into the rhythm. <laughs> Eating Tostitos and chilling. Oh, sick, man. I had some Tostitos and uh, leftover taco meat for dinner. Fucking muy bien. Yes, less beat today, for the most part. Coming back from like that to work was kind of blasé, but, uh, you know, we're chilling. We're living. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Mm. Really, I'm just here to beat some ass. I'm here to beat some ass. I'm here to beat some ass. I'm all about ass beatings here. Makes you sour. You look pale, meow. I remember his voice. I'm fine. Okay. And then I think you were just like a more British version of Kana. It's me, Cephalin. I will let my post. I won't leave my post from now on. I see. Please show me to care for your minds and bodies. Speaking of which, Miss Sarah, would you like to forget about a little... Oh, oh, right, right, yeah, yeah. And she offered, that's right. No, no, no. No, 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 not gonna do that. Not gonna do that, nope. Will you, my, will my ass be beat? Yes, Lily, if you if you deserve an ass beating, you will get an ass beating. Everyone, no one is free. My hands are rated E for everybody. The hammer of justice is unisex. All my homies hate Saffalin, we hate Saffalin. <laughs> Bro, what she did to... Wait, what? What? Yo, don't don't tease me like that. Sarah. Wait, what was it? Spanish pros. Sarah. There we go. Kutaro. Wait, Kutaro, we're not done talking. Yes, please. I don't think that's exactly what you want it to be, Lily. I don't think it's that. <laughs> <laughs> did you guys forget what Saffalin did? I don't, I'm not ready for this, bro. I'm not ready. I'm not ready what she's about to do to uh, Kutaro. Kutaro's my man. He's my G. The two went walking toward the lobby without imposing air about them. Okay, G. Okay, go back to the lobby then. There's no point in just hanging out here. Kutaro's a silly guy. Bro, his name is Kutaro Burgerberg. <laughs> His name is Qtaro Burgerberg. Of course, my man's fucking ridiculous. He's named after like a fucking McDonald's commercial. Uh, man, fuck you. I don't think we all wanted to eat hammered. Pardon? CC? Hello? I don't like Qtaro because of JoJo reference. Is he? Damn. Really need to watch that sometime. I missed last stream, so I have no context. Uh, I don't think anything too crazy happened. I think the craziest thing is I just kept getting madder and madder at so because I just, you know, bruh. Gin Defender? Well, I mean, obviously, Kutaro is way better than Gin, so I don't see why you'd have an issue term. Clearly, that's a fucked up assumption on your part. The kids are always the worst characters, unless they have, like, a redeeming moment. Oh, the name Kutaro? <laughs> this is something to do with JoJo? <laughs> What's the meaning of this? Why? I think you need to die? Term, I'm going to slip poison into your matcha. In Minecraft, in Minecraft. I'm going to slip poison... Into your matcha in Minecraft, just you wait. He will redeem himself? We will see. Talk to me, Kutaro. What is it? What is it, you two? 
Sarah. The laptop's been taken. Ooh. What? Sorry. What do you mean? Who took it? We love Gin. All my homies love Gin. We do love Gin. No, we don't. Nope. No one loves Gin here. Just you two. No one else. No one likes Gin, bro. There are no Gin enjoyers here. Only Gin haters. All, me, all, me and all my homies, we all hate Gin. Just brain to see what's wrong. Bro, you're going to see the most immaculate brain with the most gray matter that you've ever seen, bro. You're going to see. You're going to see. Who's this guy streaming? What's his name again? <laughs> what? What? He hates Gin. <laughs> Who is Gin? Uh, Lily, it's like this little kid. He was the one saying meow earlier with the mouse hoodie. Or with the, not the mouse, the cat hoodie on. Basically, this little kid, he just gets in trouble all the time. He's not been useful at all. Yeah, who the fuck is this? Must be a bad streamer. SMH. <laughs> Look, Gin Enjoyers are not welcome here. I'm going to put a sign on my door that says, Gin Enjoyers, get out. <laughs> this is slickly a cute taro country. <laughs> Kana. What? I handed over to Kana. No charge of it. No charge on it. I thought it'd be fine. You handed it over? So, must be pulling the strings. Should've known since the first stream. Term, it was literally on site, bro. Literally on fucking site. This is why we were haters first, Term. CC, you were not a hater first. <laughs> you were not a hater first, bro. I like KG, he's cute. KG is a pretty chill guy. He's a little suspicious, but like... I gotta stop hating on you and focus on the real enemy, Hero. <laughs> Bro, the real enemy here is not me, it's uh, the other me. The the negative version of me. No, I was a hater too, but I got brain. Oh, bullshit. Bull fucking shit. You were so nice the moment I fucking met you, bro. Genuinely sweet, fantastic person. Oh, uh, Lily, thank you so much for the hydrate. And then Term shows up, and you're getting brainwashed by the anti-hero. He's like that, he's like, uh, he's like that dude with all the hands from My Hero Academia. That's who Term is. Ah, the League of fucking supervillains. It's the biceps. <laughs> Moist biceps. Hey, try and I, what's up, man? Good to see you. How you doing today? How you been? How was your weekend? He is kind of have a strike some kind of deal with Kutaro. Let's. You have to know Kutaro. You knew that, and you still accepted a deal. Why? Why would you hand over some Kai's dying gift to someone else? I see. Sarah, I'm gonna search for Kana. I'll go too. She went towards the ruined corridor. I don't know if she got into your head, Kutaro. But it seems I overest- Ouch! God damn, KG. That's rough. KG's only hot only because of those damn arms. It's not even the haircut. Or like the very, uh, monotone shaded face. All the crazy characters are attractive. You just love a man with a little in mental instability, you know? The eye bags are giving L from Death Note? Kind of, kind of. I do see it. It's been interesting, but I haven't fallen on a toilet. Try and I, I told you before, bro, if, you're, if your butt is wet, it's fine. We accept wet bottoms here. You just gotta dry off before you sit on the couch. <laughs> Character with no mental spill. I miss Kai. I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do, Term, because he had, like, zero mental stability. He was off his rocker. Shikaraki's kind of attractive. I don't know what anyone says. Oh, I don't care. Yeah, I mean, if you like a dude who's gonna, like, literally disintegrate you when he touches you, go for it. It's a it's a once in a lifetime opportunity kind of deal. <laughs> it's but try not try not. I got a towel for you if you want to sit down. It's too bad. Let's go, Sarah. Right. You Taro, you dumbass. All right, let's go. If she could Rocky use some lip balm and head therapy, I would be willing. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> you know what? That's fine. That's fine. It's fine. Just, uh, look, CC, you just gotta say you're into ashy men. It's okay. I accept him as he is. I can make him worse, even. How do you make someone who's disintegrated you in one touch worse? What's the game plan here? 
You know how they have like a self-improvement routine? What's the self-degradation routine that you'd give him to? I'm too tired to start this all over again, so I'll just accept the toy. <laughs> Tell him to sit down. <laughs> Steve, thank you, Triad. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Like I said, all wet bottoms are welcome. Uh, of course you would. <laughs> Disintegrates in one look. His look is just killer. Just melts you into a fine paste like Thanos snapped his finger. Kana. Oh, she's got that look. Could you come over here and talk to us, Kana? Hi. There's nothing to talk about, is there? I don't approve of you flirting, KG. So, I knew it. It's this fucking bastard, bro. God, dude. I don't fucking want to see your face. Hey, Miss Sarah. On a date with KG? I don't think this place is all that exciting. I could say the same to you. <laughs> I guess so. A ting of electricity has filled the air. This is far from a friendly mood. Well, I'll get straight to the point. We want the laptop back. You heard him. What do you think, Kana? I can't do that. And you heard her. Give it up, KG. Who's the first one to find the laptop anyhow? Am I obliged to give it back to you? Mm, <laughs> what's yours is mine. Yeah, I'm I think we already committed to this this uh personality for Sarah. What's yours is mine, and what's mine is mine. What an absurd way of thinking. Then again, those are the sort of methods you use to scrape together trust. Aren't you afraid? Afraid of me seeing what's on this laptop? I'm very curious as to what you could be hiding. If you're going to be suspecting us, I think you're gonna be disappointed. Then let's sit down and check that. Seeing as I did find the charger. What? Now, Kana, give me the laptop. Don't. Kana! Look at me in the eye. Kana! So, you promised. If Kana brought the laptop, you would give her that. But it's the phone. She doesn't mean. Want me to go first, huh? You're surprisingly cautious, Kana. You get plan if you laid out my plan. Term, you still gotta tell me the plan, bro. I need, I need to know how to how do I fix a here. Uh, how do I fix a woman that will melt me in one touch? <laughs> so exactly a legal figure as well. That's my plan. I kind of like so. I just wish he was MGH. Come on, man, don't do this. Wait, what's MGH? I like him, but in the way I want to place his brain in a petri dish and study it. <laughs> <laughs> so I think you like him more as a science. Uh, Sarah experiment more is like a person you want to be with, you know? Like, he's toxic so you want to study him, not because you want to date him, you know? It's like you watch them in a wild habitat. And here we see the wild loser as he approaches the girl who is desperate to read her sister's dying message. What a douchebag. I like him in a way where I'll strap him down and make him watch alphabetical. CZ. What? <laughs> I think that's worse. Mm -hmm. Wait, as in the noise, Mag Mm -hmm. I wish I wish he was. Mm? What, what do you mean? Mm? He's an experiment. Got to figure out what the fuck went wrong. Right? Term, you got to figure out what the fuck went wrong with you first, my homie. But then again, there's nothing to heal. He's just a lanky, stinky, jobless loser. <laughs> mm, as in a confused, torn noise. Oh. Mm -hmm. I am so sane. No sane person says I am so sane. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most insane thing a person could say. It's like, I am so sane. I'm so sane. Want me to go first, huh? You're surprisingly cautious, KG. Yes, as promised. Here's the phone. Stop! What are you thinking so? I'll show you the truth. But that's... Your sister held this in the last moments. I hope something left on it. The message should be changed, right? Kind of traded the laptop for the phone. She stared, transfixed at the phone screen. Sister. You. Sister. I love you too, I love you. Sister. Poor Kana, bro. Kana. Kana's crying. But they're not tears of despair. They're tears of salvation. 
Sure enough, she changed the message. She read the changed message. Don't tell me to sell right. Well, I mean, yeah, he did. What do you mean? We, we saw that he read it. Are we forgetting that we stole the phone back? Found out when I'm having autistic breakdowns of baby voices calling me down. Oh, the baby videos. Oh, wait, Lily, didn't you say you were, uh... I forget exactly what it was. Like, you were, um... Like, th you like those kind of, like, baby videos? So I guess it helped down if you're having, like, a very stressful situation. Guys, I'm very clearly sane. I'm very sane. <laughs> hey, now. <laughs> CC sounded more and more like term. I'm very sane. Super sane. I'm almost super sane that I'm sane. Rest in peace. Kana and her sister were just bound to fucking fail, man. Kana's too young for this. I don't know how they expect that a middle school girl. Well, I guess they got Gin to get through, so I don't know how the fuck... I don't know how the fuck Gin got through and... Uh, Kana didn't. Oh, the little... That's what it was. That's what it was, Lily. Mitosis. Let's just split... Let's just split her in half, you know? Let's just split her in half and then she'll grow uh, into two separate smaller Kanas. And then they'll grow up to be bigger. Uh, let's see. I think, yeah, you changed it already, right? I've got the laptop. Got nothing left to say to you guys now. You guys now, Miss Sarah. Hold on. You might not, but we sure do. Jeez, you're stubborn, huh? Quit getting into quarrels. We're all in the same situation with collars on our neck. Or else maybe you don't have a collar? Huh? Because I've never seen your neck. <laughs> wow, you're suspecting me of that. I've changed my mind. Let's do a trade. A trade? I'll return the laptop. If you give me 50 of your tokens. Ooh. You should surely have most of your own tokens left, KG. You can't lie to me and say you don't have them. Hmm. Why are you so afraid? What information is going to get leaked out, huh? Huh? I would assume there's a different tests for different people. Some people seem to have come alone, I think. I don't remember. Um Yeah, I think I, I think some of the victim videos I saw that some of the people were alone, but maybe they died before in the footage. I don't know. But my question still remains how the fuck did Gin? Like how easy was this test that he got through? And Kana got like a brutal test instead. Do realistically do any of you think you'd pass the test? Oh, hundred percent. I definitely would have made it through. Uh, don't look don't look back to the VOD of the very first uh your turn to die video. I promise I definitely made it through my first attempt. Oh my so so dumb, he's so dumb. Wait, no, I think now's our chance, KG. Uh, give him the tokens. Fizzy tokens hurts, but you should accept it. <laughs> Are you afraid of someone buying your personal information? Don't get me wrong. If you gave me 50 tokens to Miss Sarah, that would do too. Huh? What's the matter? With someone as trustworthy as Sarah, even giving 50 tokens should be easy. I mean, I'll give them back. Yeah. I've only caught bits and pieces of this and I have no idea what's going on. Uh, essentially, try and I, we were stuck in a building where 10 people are forced to try to kill each other, but essentially, um, uh, there are like these main games you have to vote for each other. So in, in between the main games, there are these little games you have to do to make sure you don't die. And right now we're just trying to figure out who, uh, what, what, uh, what's going on with the kidnappers and whatnot. Because everyone seems to be related somehow, and we don't know exactly how. Oh my goodness, Hunter, this Sarah is an interesting one. <laughs> Make it quick. Make it quick. Do it quickly. Let's get the laptop back. KG, why aren't you talking? It's, it is a real party. It is a real party. Make it wick. <laughs> My idiocy would have made me try to use the key regardless of the different sizes and since the paint chipped off easily, yeah. Oh yeah, totally. I would not have just stood there for 20 minutes just staring at the fucking sandpaper thinking, why won't the key change? I'm looking at the sandpaper. Why is it not changing? <laughs> I definitely would have made it pass. Definitely. <laughs> well now, guess that was mean, KG. Guess that I didn't intend to tease you. Here's my apology, can you see it? Uh, man, I'm sure the so fan girls fucking love this, uh, this, uh, this thing right here. This, uh, this disgusting portrait. Go ahead, get a good look. 
Sure enough, it's the same caller. So now you accept it. The trade is over. Have a nice day. What? <laughs> CC? Hello? <laughs> would have ended up in a victim video? Yeah, Termer, I think you would have been the one that got like squished in the wall like a pancake, you know, just like... I mean, he is showing his clavicle. That is quite unbecoming behavior. Keiji, he wouldn't even move. He wouldn't give me his tokens. I just wanted to play at the Chuck E. Cheese pinball machine, and he wouldn't give me his tokens. What a greedy bastard. Sarah, hi. Uh, so you don't trust me. So you don't trust me. No, I mean, save it, KG. Save it. I don't want to hear it. Your biceps aren't going <laughs> to, biceps aren't going to trick me anymore. It's okay, really. Wait, Sarah. Get them out of my face. I got myself away from there. I understand this. We're all strangers who just met here. Even I haven't entrusted my whole mind to KG. So it's selfish to feel so shocked. I need to be strong. Damn, Sarah just got rejected. I think Sarah's used to that. Is it just me or does someone exposing that not give the primal urge to give a hickey? I feel like that's... Yeah, I'm gonna go with C. That's interesting. I don't know. When I see someone's neck, my first instinct is not hickey. <laughs> my first instinct is not hickey. My first instinct is... Never mind. Uh, let's see. Is it exhaustion? I didn't realize I fell asleep. My pillow is wet. While I was sleeping, I... My tears won't dry up. Uh, I... My tears won't dry up. No, no, no. I can't think about Joe. I can't think about Joe. I'm gonna get fucking hallucinations again. I'm gonna sit here and cry about my dead best friend. Wah, wah, wah. So much trauma. I was clicking the button. Wah, wah, wah. Get over it. I managed to rest, however, briefly. It's strange. Crying yourself asleep lets you forget. I regain the energy to stand up. I need to continue with the attractions. Alright. Let's save. But I wonder what ending I'm gonna get to CC. How many endings are there? Are there like a lot of endings or just a couple? Because I know the game's not finished yet. No, just when you see a neck, when they tilt the head and expose their neck? I don't know, Lily. That's still like... <laughs> We'll see, we'll see. I feel like that might be the inner werewolf inside of you, Lily. My first thing is to fucking slam their head on the surface, but that could just be me. See, see, that sounds like, um, unattacked. <laughs> I feel like maybe you've had some trauma involving Nick. Would you like to, would you like to discuss? I think the first thing you should be biting like a rabid dog. Instant death-ish ones. Oh, I see. Well, I mean, that's probably if I fuck up like a challenge, right? Maybe I'm just ungodly or... <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You own that and you be proud of it, Lily. Just be proud of it. Live your life, girl. Live your life. Slay. He's hard hanging his head. He's not gonna say shit. Uh where is KG? I guess I can go back, right? Maybe I could find Kana now. No, not really. Kana's trial room? Nope. What about after the next aren't it for me? I mean, okay, besides like the obvious things, right? Like if you're a guy, like tits and ass. And if you're a girl, uh, you know, <laughs> what's like, what, what, what am I trying to say? What's like a non-sexual body part that you guys find like very attractive? Like something that's like not overtly sexual that you think is attractive just by seeing it. Like, you know, some people are in the hands. Clearly some people are in the necks. Mm. Nothing in here, huh? No, I guess I gotta go back. Veins on hands. I've I have heard veins are very popular. Ankles and wrists, my favorite. Wait, that sounds kind of wrong. We'll see. See if you like tying people up. I guess ankles and wrists, like that could be a thing. Don't shit on my man like an ankles, bro. CC just might be like related to like a Victorian England old timey ghost, and he was possessed, and now all of a sudden when he sees ankles, he's just fucking falling over himself to go see more see more they're so grabbable yo see 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 is that see that's what i'm saying bro i'm saying bro is it here nope hmm 
Hmm. Where do I go now? Shoulders, probably. That's a good one. That's a good one. I think shoulders are pretty good. The shoulders are pretty good. I think I understand shoulders more than ankles and wrists. Although I'm not much of a, like, biter. I'm not much of a biter, I guess. Uh, I've been using I've been trading them. Yeah, of course. Knowing nothing about death games, so it's best to get more info. Should I buy a prize, I wonder? I mean, uh, I bought some and they're all kind of garbage. It's like when you go to the fucking game arcade and the rewards are like 5,000 tokens for an inflatable hammer that'll pop as soon as you use it. Girt Daddy? Please don't call me Girt Daddy. I never want to hear that again. <laughs> Lily, please. <laughs> I left that dark past behind me. Next are just eh, but I do get their popular erogenous zone. Is it? I don't... Stop. All of you need to stop saying Girt Daddy right this fucking second. Please, I'm gonna I'm gonna crawl out of my skin. I'm gonna turn into a, a pupa. Where do I go? Long stairs? Alice. This is a rather gloomy place. I'm fond of it. Okay, yeah, 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 whatever. How many tokens do I got? 20. And then... 50. 80. 110. 160. Ooh, I almost got enough for this. Pupa daddy. <laughs> Fucking hell. Pupa daddy. <laughs> bro, what are we speaking into this world, bro? Do you want to... Do you want... A giant cocoon full of liquid to, like, just whip you and call you a bad girl. Hmm, who do, where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Who do I talk to? Do I talk to Reiko now? No. Hmm. Alice, just just go to your Wonderland, bro. I know, he's, he's just, he's looking for his way to get back into the Dead Man's game, but he just can't seem to find his way in. Um, <laughs> just... <laughs> yes? Try night. Maybe. You're talking about a pupa. Like, not like a person. Not like, you know, someone sexy. I'm talking like a giant fucking, you know, like a Kuna from Pokemon. You know, like the yellow one before it turns into a Beedrill. You want that thing to hit you and call you bad girl. And make you its bitch. Is that what you want? Interesting time. <laughs> he reminds me of Tanaka Gundam. Oh, yeah, he does. I really do. I really do see that, actually. Where do I go? Do I gotta do? Do I do? Gotta do, do I gotta do a? Um, do I gotta do a uh, attraction? I think that's what I said earlier. Which one have I not done? Have I done all the ones in the monitor room? I remember doing the minecart one. Stay on target. I think I did that one too. Yeah, yeah. Hide and seek. Yeah. Okay. Here we are. KG, give me your tokens, you bitch. Nope. All right. Help. St poop. <laughs> Stuck. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Why is my keyboard so dark? Oh, and whenever I leave like my computer alone for like more than like a day or two, um, the keyboard whenever I turn the computer on is always like black, and another lights show up. And I can't fucking type when I can't see. Yes, I never learned how to properly type. I was in one of those typing classes when I was younger and I just could not, I straight up could not like get my fingers to conform to the shape that we wanted to do. I'm gonna do Lily. There we go. People have simp for worse. What do you. Okay, what's worse than a fucking pupa, bro? What's worse than a pupa? What's worse than a pupa? Tell me now. <laughs> I'll accept so over a fucking pupa. <laughs> <laughs> Step pupa opens the cocoon with pulsating abs, bro. Please stop. Now you're just sounding like <laughs> it's like the people who don't understand it. It's like it's like people who don't understand anatomy right about it. His shoulder blades are pulsating from the top most ventricle to the bottom right venicular connection to the muscle frame. It's like when you read Baki, yeah? The muscles make no fucking sense at all. And it's beautiful, but like God. You are in history now, Lily. That is, I could not let that run away from me. Uh, what about, do we have any more in here? Fly swatter? Oh, shit. Trust, you don't know. The internet's a big place. 
the internet is so is so fucking scary, bro. Because one day it's like fucking wholesome and sweet and nice, and then I get shit like this where it's just like, oh yeah, someone would definitely want a uh, cocoon from Pokemon to whip them and call them a bad girl and give them uh, beedrill-like cocoon marks all over their back. I'm just gonna do the one in the model room. I don't think it really matters anymore. Let's do hide and seek. And I think we're gonna do KG because I want your fucking tokens, bro. Route 34 is pretty big. I mean, uh, not my circus, not my monkeys. <laughs> I know there's porn of anything, but like, there's got to be a stop. Want to break from the ads? Want to break from the ads? Hmm. We'll start with me. What is this? Keep a careful lookout. Wait, so what do I do? Hide and seek rules. Touch the three levers to move them and to build their energy up to maximum. Touch the rock to hide before the demon turns around. Okay, this should be easy. So what's like the... How do I know he's going to turn around? Is he going to like... Oh. oh, I see. Okay, so he stops moving. Careful. Oh. So I'm basically just playing a knockoff version of Halloween. Got it, got it, got it. I knew it. I could feel it in my bones. This is such an interesting playthrough, though. I've never seen anyone do it like this. Like, Sarah Hunter made it just so fucking fist to your face. <laughs> I gotta make it. I gotta make it. Oh, God. And Sarah's dead. Careful, careful, careful. I like how much bigger KG is, like, compared to Sarah. I guess she is like a high school kid. Oh, damn it. Gotta watch your shoulder blades. Watch your shoulder blades. Watch your shoulder blades like you're going to the gym. Okay. Uh, this is such a simple through. I've never seen anyone do it like this. Like, the Sarah Hunter made it just so fucking fist to your face. <laughs> I mean, I want, uh, I want Sarah to be the true psychopath that she is, because clearly she's a psychopath, you know? I think, honestly, that's kind of like So's point, right? Like, Sarah is, like, manipulating people very easily for trust. And, like, in a lot of games like this, it's just taken for granted that everybody trusts the main character. But, like, in a way, it, like, really is manipulative. If you if you have, like, a very pessimistic outlook on it. Oh, God. Damn it, I lost. So I wanted to play it to fit that mindset a little bit. Here's a demon. Watch. It's going to pop up. Watch. Watch. There it is. There's uh, Chucky, whatever his name is. Halloween guy. Jason, that's it. Manly because... man, Oh, Manly Badass Hero does it so differently? How does he play him? Does he play her like a straight girl? Like like completely like normal, plain, average high schooler? Gotta add a little spice. Oh, God, wait. Do I just... Please tell me it's just the, the mini game, right? I don't gotta redo that conversation with So. I don't wanna talk to Show. Okay, cool, cool, cool. KJ could run... Me... You know what? You guys can be into what you're into, bro. You can... You dig into those biceps, you're Gucci. You know what? I'm proud of you. I'm very proud of you. I'm proud of you. So why do I only get two? Okay, let's try again. Can I turn around? No, no, no. I know it. I know it. Okay. Manly Bass here is experience. Oh, fuck, I didn't I wasn't paying attention because I was reading. Alright, I just gotta I gotta like watch him. It's very quick. He could put a collar on me. Lily, that I don't you weren't here for that collar will uh melt your head off. Careful, careful, careful. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, now let's wait for the mask. I want that bastard to go away first before I there we go. We go. I mean, whatever people are into, I guess, if you want to be headless, you know? I like his voice a lot. Wait, KG or uh, Manly Badass Hero? Oh, watch out. Careful, 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 careful. I see you, I see you. Nice try, nice try. Come on, turn around, Jason, turn around, Jason. There we go. 
then. What? And then the giant fucking eyeball gloopy monster. Basically just like muck from Pokemon with eyes. We got this, we got this. Hey, Jason Voorhees, calm down. Actually, is that Jason Voorhees or is that the dude from uh, Nightmare on Elm Street? You know, the dude with like the fucked up skin that looks like he got attacked by like a hot skillet of bacon grease. Come on, come on. Oh, nice try. Nice try. Nice try. And go. We got this. We got this. We got this. So close. So close. So close. Come on. Come on. Well, I couldn't see it because of KG's fucking giant ass biceps, bro. He was blocking the mask. <laughs> That's complete fucking cheating. You can't take advantage of how thick fucking KG is, bro. How the fuck am I supposed to play the game? <laughs> I got a natural B debuff because I can't fit through fucking doorways, bro. <laughs> Managed to do it. I'm exhausted. Here's the clear chips. We'll take one each. Let's go. Yo, Songbird. Thank you so much for the raid. What's going on, everybody? Uh, what's going on? My name is Hunter Hero. I am playing Your Turn to Die, which is a death game where 10 people vote to kill each other. But Songbird, how was your stream? Raiders, I hope you have a great night. What is up? Yes, but I've heard uh, Manly Badass Hero talk a couple times. I watched some playthroughs after you guys mentioned him, and he is, uh, he's pretty good at what he does. I'll say that. But I don't know the game. What is this game? Fuck you, Lily. Uh, for anyone here, tradition is that if you squeak me, I squeak you. And say fuck you, but... Songbird, hello, hello, hello. How are you? How are you doing today? I hope you have self-cared. I hope you had a good stream. Salvatore Squeak. What's Overtime, by the way, CC? I've never heard of that game. Uh, man, the experience is straightforward. And those all the cliches in VN games. And so he plays it straightforward, mostly. Ah, okay. I mean, I'm kind of aware of the tropes, but I kind of just like just diving into it. It's kind of fun to just lose yourself in like the nonsense and not try to like... What's the right word I'm looking for? I'm just down to clown. I guess that's the right way of putting it. I'm down to just mess around and see what happens. KG, I want your tokens, bro. Give me your tokens, please. Give me all your secrets. How many KG tokens do I have? 20. Give me 30. Now. <sighs> bro, please. I want the information. Why would I want... Why would I want 20 tokens from Gen? I don't care anything about Gen, bro. I don't want I don't want to advance my social link with Gin. That's not worth my time. <laughs> I don't want to advance the social link. I don't like the upgrades that I get. I'm just gonna talk to KG. Oh, it's a demo. Okay, let me click this. What is this game? Overtime. Low poly horror. Ten meetings. Okay. Oh god, look at those faces. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh wait, Cece, you had this as a picture for a while, right? I remember this. I remember this dude's uh, like general face, like the blue shirt. <laughs> Fuck you, Jaredin. But good to see you, homie. How you doing today? Welcome in. Welcome in. What you up to? Uh, Dees. Hey, Ivy. What's up? What's up? How you doing today? I hope you had a good weekend. I hope you are rested, prepared, and ready for the rest of the week. Yes. What is it? What is it, Lily? What would you like? Uh, it was a fun stream. I got my coding study finished than I thought I would, so we played House Flipper to relax a bit. Oh, well, congratulations on getting your coding done. I've done, like, a little coding in my life, and it is a huge... What's the word I'm looking for? I found it draining. <laughs> it's definitely a little hard. But I guess House Flipper is like a real estate game? But it sounds fun. I'm glad you had a good stream. I've kind of listened to Ridiculous Southern Accent. You just got to get ready for it, bro. Jared, you just got to prepare yourself mentally. Just finish up stream... Uh, just finished up an exam, got a 80 out of 80 out of 100, which is significantly better than I thought I would do. Hey, Jaredin, congratulations, my man. Seriously. Look, man, what is that? Like a B minus? That's a solid score. That's a solid score. Uh, I'm good. I was sick yesterday, but much better today. Oh, okay. Well, hey, I'm glad you're doing better today. And, you know, what? a TV in the night's town sound fucking sick, gotta get that furniture up. <laughs> gotta have shit around. Coding is tedious, but worth it. I mean, yeah, it pays off, definitely. 100%. Uh, I want to hug. Lily, I don't... Wait, do I have a hug command? I don't have a hug command, so... Uh, the closest thing I could do... Bro, I can't see my fucking keyboard. Hold up. I gotta turn the lights on. It's not working. Damn it. Let me do... Uh, 
Cloudy Affy. I don't know if this works with just any name. If it has to be a name. There's a bonk, Lily. I can't give you a hug, but I'll take a bonk. So she's chilling to bonk. I'm going to try to pass the class at the B at least. You know what they say. C's get degrees, but they don't get scholarships, though. No, B's get the benefits. C's get degrees. And the A's get the accolades. <laughs> the war is over. <laughs> the long war is done. Uh, very true. I tried when I figured out how to do my first assignment. I was so proud of myself. Well, congratulations, Songbird. That's good to hear. Have you done a lot of coding or like you just learning it now? Because when I first started trying to learn how to do it, it was just like a mountain. Do you have a headpads command? I do not. I hate that that works. Jared, it's all part of the system. You gotta, you gotta be in the, le the what is it called? What is it when like you have two words that have the same letter at the beginning? All alliteration? It's kind of like my name, Hunter Hero. Come sit down. I'll get you some coffee. No, I'm fine. Right then. Kinda awkward, huh? KG. He doesn't want me knowing his personal info. He doesn't want me to find out that he's a VTuber. I'm sure of it. KG has a secret he hasn't told anyone. Trust, huh? What do you have to do to earn it, huh? Trust others your wait, trust others yourself? I assume this means trust others with yourself. A Twitch mobile is so bad when I'm outside. Do people actually watch like Twitch mobile like where they're walking around? I feel like the internet would be so bad you barely get like one frame of stream before it starts loading. I mean physical invention. I'll give you I'll give you more bonks, as many bonks as you need, Lily. But I do not have hugs or head pads. Let's see. Let's do trust others for now. When you want to earn trust from someone. You have to trust that partner, that person, too. Ah, I see. This is my first program class on... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, no, Songbird. Then I definitely see... Oh, man. Well, yeah, the congratulations on that first <laughs> that first assignment. That's sick. <laughs> it's a huge laundry list of things to learn. Hey, uh, that one drawing kid. Welcome in, welcome in. How are you doing? Hope you're having a good day. What is up? How are you doing? What the fuck, Twitch? I didn't mean to at. Twitch is just being crazy. Uh, let's do this. Cloim. <laughs> Cloim. <laughs> Could you be mad at me, Sarah? I don't like the way you said that. Don't, me don't mess. Bro, KG, sometimes he just throws the vibes off. Like, sometimes he just really throws the vibe off, and I don't know what to do about it. He just throws the vibe off sometimes, I'm not gonna lie. It, I get weird feelings, bro. I want to trust you, KG. I don't want to distrust anyone. Because we're allies. Allies. But KG, you never show what you're really thinking. What in the world are you hiding? Please tell me. Oh boy. I'm good. I just bought $70 worth. Of, wait, 70 doll hairs worth of Valentines. Oh. <laughs> Drawing kids, you really just messed me up for a second. I was like trying to figure out how much would a doll cost. <laughs> Not me trying to figure out how much doll hairs cost. <laughs> but uh, I'm doing well. I'm having a good day. Overall, been pretty chill. I had a good weekend, so now I'm just kind of vibing. His whole vibe is off. No, completely off. Not my boy, KG. He's just suspicious. suspicious. That's all. He's hiding his giant balls. Ag, don't don't correct that. CC, just leave it as me. His, high, his, his giant balls. <laughs> His giant balls. Hurts to see you make that face. Hurts to see you make that face, Sarah. Sarah. Oh, drawing kid. Thank you so much for the follow. Deeply appreciated. Hope you're enjoying the stream. I hope your doll hairs are um finely combed and to fit your liking, whatever they need it for. But let's fucking hear it for that one drawing kid. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I do a cult member to brainwash. CC, that's a little too strong, my man. <laughs> Coming in a little hot with the cold brainwashing. <laughs> I appreciate it's my second degree. It's been like seven years since the last time I took class, so it's a lot to get used to again. Oh, shit. Okay. So are you learning coding to like supplement something you already do? Or is it just like a whole new thing? That is, that is awesome. Going back to school is like a huge... Uh, Huge undertaking, so, I mean, hey, congratulations. I'm getting started. My doll hairs are gone. A cult? Whoa, huh? I mean, we're, we're technically 
not a cult. I don't think the government calls us a cult yet. So I'm going to wait till we get on one of those TV shows where it's like cult in your areas or like a Scientology special. And then I can consider us a cult. But right now we're just, we're just, we're just vibing. We're just people. I was also calculating the total care cost. <laughs> Lily, it's like sh- same brain shell. Same brain shell. See, I can't even fucking speak. Same brain cell. Same brain cell. What are you referring to? How I said, I shot a person. There are traumatic memories. Things I don't want to tell others if I can help it. The person I shot was a criminal. And died. And that person was someone precious to me. Oh, criminal. You were acquainted with them? I'm a killer. Not even permitted to be judged by the law. A true piece of shit. Burdened with my sin of life. KG? <laughs> Damn those eyes. Look at those fucking eyes. My man's going through it. My man forgot his uh, his medication at home. Well, so that's the kind of guy I am. Sarah, your friendly policeman. Can't even trust himself. Not ever since that day. KG. Sure ran my mouth there. Truth is, better off not trusting me after all, huh? He left. Well, I guess that's it for discussions. Oh, drawing kid, you are part of the cult. Cool. Well, welcome in. Uh, we have Kool Aid. Uh, we have uh, <laughs> we have weekly gatherings where we sacrifice um, artists to the great art god. It's been uh, pretty successful so far. It's a single hot cult from your area. Click this link to find out who is willing to be brainwashed today. We share the same brain shell. Yes, we are both folded into one mollusk. I am one half of the clam, and you are the other half, <laughs> Lily. <laughs> I'm completely switching careers. My basic communication degree just isn't cutting it. Mmm. Yes, I uh, I have a couple of friends who graduated with communication degrees, Songbird, and um, it's a tough field. Coding is definitely a lot more, what's the word I'm looking for? Profitable. Profitable. Just cut me instead. Anyway, chat. <laughs> Kool-Aid, you should have said so first. The Kool-Aid. We have Kool-Aids. We have Kool-Aid. We have lots of Kool-Aid. Uh, don't drink it on Tuesdays, but the Kool-Aid will come through. Don't worry. It's It's not blood. I know last week we thought it was blood. We thought it was like blood that someone got spilled into the thing, but I promise it's just like the red, you know, coloring of the Kool-Aid. Just, just be careful, that's all. And make sure you take your shots. What is it, Ken? Big sis now was at the prize exchange, meow. She seemed really pale, meow. I'm worried, woof. Got it. I'll go take a look. Thanks, meow. Mm, do you think she bought information about me? Because I feel like she'd have enough. I'm not quite sure. I'll drink Kool-Aid every day. All right. Well, drawing kid, on Tuesdays, I'm just going to warn you. Just be careful. That's all. Give me the blue version. We have an agreement. There you go. Well, then you're drinking that blood of that fucking sea creature. What is it called? You know, there's that sea creature thing. Apparently, it has blue blood. It looks like a fucking uh, ancient uh, shell. Apparently, all the fucking medicine in the world's made out of that thing. Let's see. So, did you buy my information? I'm trying to see. Meow and wolf. He's uh he's a cat dog, try night. Don't judge him, he has two furry personas. They start young. Cool kids club. <laughs> Horseshoe crab, that's it. Thank you, Abby. Do you guys know what created the phrase drinking the Kool-Aid? Actually, I'll let you do the research yourself. Isn't it, it was that cult that uh ended up killing like a lot of people because they poisoned the Kool-Aid? Right? I think that was it. Sarah. Now, what's the matter? You've gone white. Ah, I, I bought it. B- bought what? A, a victim video. Yeah, I, I watched one already. Like a while ago. Huh? I thought it would give us a clue to escape. But I'm too scared to watch. Please, would you watch it with me? Don't make me watch your fucking snuff videos now. I don't know what you're into. Hey, Jay. What's up, man? Good to see you. How you doing today? Crab shoe. I'm gonna I'm gonna shoe your crab. If, if, a, if a motorboat for girls for boobs is it balls for guys, do not motorboat balls. You're going to give someone like a concussion. Where is Joe Og? He's dead, Jay. He's dead. But Rune's not dead. What's going on, homie? Thank you so much for the raid, Rune. What is up, bro? How you doing tonight? Hope you enjoyed the rest of VR. What were you playing? Uh, give my soul to the Kool-Aid. Couldn't care whose blood it is. You know what, kid? 
I respect, I respect the commitment. I, I suspect, I suspect, respect the commitment. You're definitely going to be a high member in the cult very soon. Many people, including children and babies, died from drinking Kool-Aid because the authorities found out what the cult was doing. Yes, that's what it was, Ivy. Not my Joe. Jay, you got to give up on Joe. You got to give up on him. We're hallucinating. I died a lot. Bombs are bad for your health. I mean, I had a lot of uh, Jaeger bombs this weekend, and I was okay. Or do you mean a different kind of bomb? I'm going to get some sleep now. Have a good stream. Songbird, thank you so much for the raid again earlier. Good luck with whatever you're doing. Um, I hope you have a great night. Rest up. Take care. And hope to see you another time. Peace. Rune, guess what? Rune, guess what? Let me do this. Um, You can close your eyes. Just being there and holding my hand would... Oh, and if you could stroke my back and cheer me on like you can do it. Can I shut my eyes on such a thing? I don't see. I'm gonna watch it with you totally. I'll stroke your back, <laughs> bro. I fucking love. It. I'm just gonna pick all the interesting options for Sarah as long as I don't get like a bad end. I'm gonna do it. Understood. I'll close my eyes, hold your hand, and furiously stroke your back. I'm gonna stroke your back so hard. <laughs> I'm gonna strike your book so fucking hard. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, and please don't forget that you can do it, Chan, neither. Now, this is serious. Apparently, you can view it in the monitor room. Let's go, Sarah. Hey, Sonny. Sonny, thank you so much for the hydrate and the stretch. Uh, what is up? How you doing tonight? How you doing? How you doing? Good to see you. Let's go watch this um this snuff video that now found on the internet. I'm sure it'll be very enlightening. I'm starting it up. Now inserted the victim video into the machine in front of her. Oh, I'll, I'll hit play. Please hold my hand. I want to hold her. <laughs> Sorry. All right. I so let the sensor monitor hit the play button. I hear a woman's voice. I said I would close my eyes, but sure enough, I'm curious. I opened my eyes, but that did not last long. The screen, oh wait, do we all get different snuff videos? Huh. The screen showed a woman in a dim room, tied up with chains. Stop, please, help me. The woman is wearing a suit, no a uniform. Is that a police uniform? I only did my duties. Is she talking to someone? Got anything else to say? Oh, KG, you suspicious bastard. Oh, that's probably not him, actually, though. I, I told total fucking fake out. Total fake out. It's not him. Unless I settle the score with you. Afraid I can't move forward. There's no point in doing this. Wait a second. This man in front. He looks just like. Please pass the switch. I. No. That's enough. I can't watch anymore. The chains around the woman's body tore her apart. But what disturbed me even more was the man in front of the camera. Now, about that man. M man? Uh, uh. Does she not realize? I mean, I don't want to watch it again. That's just going to lead to us like getting kicked out. Uh, ba, 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 ba. All right. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say it's KG. The man we saw from behind. Don't you think he looked like somebody? Lily, you gotta pick men that you can trust. You can't trust KG. He's being too suspicious. Sorry, I ain't paid that much attention. Hero, you better have ate. Sonny, you better have ate that fucking garlic bread. <laughs> and then that, that depends on my answer. I just felt so bad for the woman. I didn't notice. No, that's understandable. And I couldn't ask her to watch it again. But I'm sure of it. He looked like KG. What's the meaning of this? Sorry, Sarah. Even though I'm the one who bought the video. Sarah, you're so strong. Your hand was so comfortable on my back. You first stroked it until I was just so much like putty in your hands. 
Y'all better eat. <laughs> hey, Milky, what's up? Good to see you. How you doing? Hope you're having a good day and hope you had a good weekend. You better eat as well, Milky. I went out to dinner because Brian's good. Oh, Sunny. Is everything okay? I hope everything's okay. I mean, I'm, I'm good. glad to hear that you at least um, ate. I hope everything is okay. Sarah's so fucking strong. I love her. Sarah got that dog on her, bro. She's got the whole fucking pound in her heart, bro. Did you see what was happening during the first trial? This girl could open up a whole fucking adoption center just by herself. Strong. Being told, uh, being told that made me realize how much I'd gotten accustomed to this cruelty. Even such a horrifying fate befalling someone I didn't know couldn't even faze me. My senses are getting numb. <laughs> I guess I've really lost it, haven't I? Sayera now hugged me gently. You haven't, you haven't lost anything, Sayera. Right. Now it's chest I've regained a little composure. In that video, the policeman, uh, police one of the man in front, didn't seem like they had no connection. And also, that man was cagey. There's too much to think about. My head isn't working. I should get some sleep. I need rest. Uh, I'm good to hear. How you doing? Hey, good to hear, Milky. I am doing well. I've had a good day. I'm rested up after my weekend, and I'm ready to fucking go for this week. Let's fucking get it. Let's figure out who's killing everybody. Woohoo. <laughs> cagey. My beloved. <laughs> oh, here, don't you worry. I'm just a dumb thing I said about. Well, Sonny, regardless of whatever dumb thing it was, I'm sorry that it happened. I hope you feel better soon. And seriously, take care of yourself. You are fantastic and wonderful. My body's still suddenly getting more tired. Need to keep at it. All right. Day three, let's go. Let's do some attractions. Hear me. I will absolutely not eat bitter melon. Did you not state you wanted to eat stir-fry? I said fried rice, wench. <laughs> Isn't fried rice too heavy for breakfast? And bitter melon stir-fry is light. Seems like they're getting an early start with some stupid argument. I've never had bitter, bitter melon. Do you have like bitter... Do you have like melon stir-fry with like fruit? I guess I've had like pineapple stir fry, like a Thai thing, and that's usually pretty good. So I guess you could have bitter melon stir fry. You're telling me a shrimp fry this rice? God, it's so, it's so fucking. <laughs> You're telling me a chicken cooked this rice? <laughs> How did a whole ass egg make this rice? I'm a product of my environment, including this stream. Milky, you're the cool one. <laughs> You're the fantastic one. You are all the cool ones. I'm here just being an idiot. Uh, bitter melon sucks on God. I hate it. My parents love it, but I hate it. So is it just like bitter watermelon food? Or like what? Is it like a melon with like a little bit of bitter taste to it? I've only had regular watermelon. And it's pretty mid. Is my honest opinion. Let's do Ruin Corridor. I wonder who's around here. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, all right. Please, please direct your hand to this, or your eyes to this hand on Kana's back, bro. This man is not good. This is predatory behavior, bro. He is literally just mind washing her right now. Look at this dude. Her face is gonna have those fucking eye bags. Watch this. What do you want, Miss Sarah? Nothing. Look. <laughs> Look at this poor girl's face. God, bro, someone stop this madman. Fucking hell. I'm voting you out now. I'm voting you out the next fucking chance I get. <laughs> I'm voting you out as soon as I fucking can. God, let's do some fucking puzzles, bro. I can't take this, bro. I can't let Kana be next to this dude anymore. It's not right. It's not right. Bitter melon is good in some Filipino dishes. So, okay, so is it bitter fruit, basically? Is it like, I don't know, like a really unripened banana? level of bitter saving up for the box redeem no no lily there are so many wonderful redeems like a, uh like a, you could do a stretch and a, a hydrate and a, ask me a question <laughs> kg my beloved no i didn't mean to click on that hey hi so, pff, okay damn okay now i guess we're not talking anymore cool 
Okay, let's, uh, hmm, good question. I guess the relaxation room, right? I think this is the last place to do uh, attractions at. Yeah, CC, I don't know, bro. Someone's got to save Kana. Can we vote out so next chance we get? I'm so down. I'm going to vote for him every single time. And I don't think there's any big fan so fans here right now, so I think I'm safe. I'm just glad you're back here. I'm glad to be back, Sonny. I'm glad to see you guys. It's such a fucking wonderful time every time I stream. I can make a hero woman. Yes, lovely, cool things. <laughs> I've known this man for less than an hour and I'm sipping. I think I think every character in this game has somebody simping for them. At least one. I think one at least. Let's do Spirit Shutter. I do that one. Wait, what? No. Now's not the time. Who do I talk to then? Huh. Okay, then let's uh walk around then. From there. Hey, regard, what's up? Good to see you. Good to see you. How was your weekend and how are you doing today? It's easy to do. I could believe that. I could believe that. It does can it can happen very quickly. It happened very quickly. The simping smell, you uh, simping smell. The simping spell, you can be put under it in a moment. Notice it can literally happen in a matter of seconds. Hmm, room of rubble? No, it's that one. I don't know. Oh, those fucking biceps, goddammit. it! <laughs> Gotta watch out for the dudes who work out, bro. They're gonna get you. No one wants to taste such bitterness early in the morning. No one. What? Many people drink coffee in the morning. Mm. Um. Uh, please stop fighting. Oh, wait, that was me. Please stop fighting. She Oh, Cece, I did not know that, my man. Or, if you, okay, I, I use my man and bro for, like, everybody. But if uh you don't want to be called that, let me know. I just do that shit on instinct, honestly. But I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to keep that in mind. <laughs> I was about to say, Sarah got a cheap voice there. For <laughs> want to break from the ads? Want to break from the ads? But, um... Sarah just got got real fucking demanding with Alice there. She wanted to put him in his place, so she just dropped a, a baritone tone a little bit. I impulsively bought furniture this weekend, so there's that. That sounds like an awesome time regard. <laughs> Honestly, going to the store and buying a random piece of furniture could pay off pretty well. You might also just get a random piece of junk you never use, but like, hey, if it looks cool, keep it. Sarah Choden. You've caught me in an unslightly time. Well, will you eat this? No. Well, if you excuse me, you'll receive a penalty if you don't eat it all. Wait, wait. Crying doll, Tia Cephalon. What? <laughs> I... He... He, like, says everybody's full name whenever he talks to anybody. <laughs> Do you know anybody like that? He's like, hello. <laughs> Do your best. C calm down, Sarah Choden. You have a different look about you from yesterday. Huh? I'll bet you I'll be your conversation partner in exchange. You ate the green stuff. What an annoying trade. I decided to indulge Alice a little bit. Hey, Jared, thank you so much for the hydrate, my man. Why don't you find out what the special hero redeem is? Um, yeah, Lily, I'm gonna let that be a surprise. I'm gonna let you be a surprise. Indulging this adult man, oh, Sarah. She just lets these dudes just, like, do say whatever they want to her but i mean she's so mentally tough she's just like yeah whatever yeah, yeah yeah tell me your bitch fit give me the information i need i'm gonna move on and solve this fucking case while you're sitting here complaining about bitter melon <laughs> i got bigger fish to fry than fucking bitter melon mm, i think bitter melon could be so tasty seems my taste buds have matured in the death game he's probably just knocking it out he's probably just knocking it without trying it uh, bring up some topic. Come to think of it, are you talking to, uh, Reiko? <coughs> Why intrude on the subject? How crude are you, Sarah Choden? Don't tell me you're hardly have ever talked. Yes, but I can observe her at a distance. Initially, I did believe that Reiko had changed. But in the past few days, I found... Reiko is Reiko. Her essence is unchanged from the one I knew. And there I noticed. He's making it sound like a good thing. Sarah Choden. 
<laughs> Sarah Choden. Do you even know Reko's past in the first place? Huh? Well... Look at this. Look at this photograph. Every time I do, it makes me laugh. A magazine article? One day, a kind, kind warden handed it to me. The small article was titled, 36 Ray 818 Breakup. Samurai Yabai was the band Reiko used to be in. Wait, what are these numbers? 36 Ray 818. Oh, oh, that's clever. You sniffing people's essences now? I feel like this dude would sniff people. I don't know. Something about the hair. <laughs> Look at this crap. <laughs> oh, there's a dude coming up who's even thicker than Kenji? Wait, are you talking about Kyutaro? Or is there somebody even bigger than Kyutaro? It says, with one of the members gone, the vocalist stated, I can't sing this band song anymore, and the group disbanded. A foolish member caused a scandal, and Reiko could no longer sing their vocals. A scandal? A murder. Though for some reason, it wasn't made public. Hmm, don't tell me, the foolish member. This article was my warning. I deeply wounded Reiko's heart. And those wounds can be healed simply by me accepting punishment. But this article... I have no more use for it. Throw it away for me. Huh? It's not the article I need to confront. It's Reiko herself. Please. His warning. Also, I forgot to mention just because I saw the emote in chat. All my fucking emotes finally got approved. Thank God. Took like 20 fucking years. I put it in in January. And now I get to post some new shit. After fucking all the gifted subs that I got before from CC. And Polanski, so thank you guys both. CC, I know you're here. I know Polanski might be lurking or something, but thank you guys. So I was finally able to add some more things. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a good one. <laughs> I thought it was a nice one. I don't know why Twitch so long, took so long to give that to me. Obtain the band breakup article. Okay, time to continue with attractions. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yes, and the Omega Low. I know that's stolen, but like, you know, we gotta do what we gotta do. <laughs> we gotta do what we gotta do, folks. We gotta do what we gotta do. Uh, so now can we do the the chat? Oh, now they're talking again, huh? It was no, it was no use. Even this one. Regard, I added... Oh, actually, I got that one for followers because um, I've been streaming for 60 days. So I could add some, I could add some, uh, some fucking follower emotes now. I still need like one more. I haven't decided what I should do. Hey, oh, these two. I thought they were fighting. I, I straight up thought that uh, KG was throwing a fucking elbow in Alice's face, but I guess he's like scratching his head, so you can't quite see Alice's face. It's like you know, uh, when you see two dudes together and like one guy's on his knees. And obviously nothing's happening, but someone walks into the room and all they see is like one guy on his knees. It's like that kind of scenario. But it's Alice and Keiji. In this case, the monitor was destroyed by... Pretty sure of it. Which is why I compiled with the tray. Oh, so so did break it. Obviously so fucking... Bruh. Always so. It's always so. Uh, let's see. That would be a nice for Keiji. <laughs> yeah, like helping him clean up if he drops something, right? Right? I didn't know whales and whistles for followers were time blocked. Yes. So uh, the way it works for followers is that you need to stream for, I think, 60 days or 90 days after hitting affiliate. And then you're allowed to have um, two things. You're allowed to have follower emotes and then you're allowed to have instant upload emotes. Obviously, if you fit like all the other criteria, like streaming a certain amount of days. But Twitch has a lot of little tiny rules that I had no idea existed. Let's go back to the lobby. I would be my I would clean something off for him. <laughs> I'm not setting up these jokes. You guys just managed to turn my words into these jokes. It's just it's not even. You cannot put that on me. You cannot put that on me. I'm out here, vibing, being suspicious of uh, KG, but uh, now nah, I'm just I'm just rocking with it. I'm just trying to play. I'm trying to have wholesome, your turn to die moments where you try to kill your friends. You know, that's gonna take me some time. 
Well, regard, whenever you hit affiliate, I think uh, your time will come. And you never know, affiliate comes a lot faster than you think sometimes. I mean, it certainly happened to me way quicker than I thought. I did not expect to have that. Uh, so soon after I started quick draw, signal quick select. But I do wish you the best on that journey, regard. On the signal, quickly select attack display. I guess so. Oh god, never. Uh, Reiko or no? Let's do Reiko. Her thing's usually pretty good. Twice the time. Oh, let's do this. Totally. I'll show you my combat abilities. <laughs> Why is he still alive? I haven't had the chance to kill him yet, Jared. I've got my gun locked and loaded. I've got my sniper ready. <laughs> We're not that kind of rated R. We're the violent kind of rated R. We're the uh we're the we're the PG thirteen movie with like the one use of the word fuck and the occasional nip slip. We're not going full on titties on screen movie. We're not there yet. Yeah. Give him hell. Wait. Give him hell. There you go. That's my smoker voice. I love this Silent Hill esque fucking battle music. Weapon symbol will suddenly appear on the screen. Quickly select the weapon to target it. As you choose late, your opponents will attack first. Choosing wrong will also get you attacked. Got it. Yet? No, 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 no. Titties on screen means that no more me. Those titties gonna those titties gonna take me out of this world, literally. <laughs> Alright. Okay, gotta be gotta be on it. Pipe. Bang. Everybody was kung fu fighting. Yeah. Oh my god. Gotta be fast as lightning. Yeah. Damn, those titties got hands. Titties with hands it sounds actually terrifying. Like, imagine if they could grab you back. Like, imagine if you held hands with titties. Actually, that sounds awesome. Quick, scientists, get on that, like, right now. I want a titty handhold. It's like a more evolved version of, um, a more evolved version of premarital handholding. Fuck, it's so fast. Hold up. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it right here. And if it's gone, I'm fucked. <sighs> Ooh, titties with fingers. Titties with fingers? Bro. Minigame Kirby Superstars? Oh, I, I do kind of see that, Jaren. Fuck, I'm dead. Well. How dare you do that to Sarah? How dare you do that to Sarah? Pipe. Give him the pipe. Nope. But he did die. No, he's got one more. How would you take five fingers to the face, bitch? That easy, baby. This isn't fucking Fire Force, bro. All I gotta do is pour some water on your head, Murguchi. Hell yeah, piece of cake, Sarah. Here, the clear chips, half and half. And from the top row with the chair. <laughs> with that, the attraction is done. I've done them all, right? And I've got, uh, I think, nine. I think I have nine clear chips, don't I? I'm kind of killing it. Oh, hey there, Kutaro. You fucking gargantuan uh, behemoth of a man. See, I have nine clear chips. So I think I need to give three to somebody. I'm going to beat so up for his clear chips. And no one is going to stop me. I'm going to hit him in the head with the wood block round two. Sarah, what a tray tokens. Yeah, sure. All right, let's talk, Sarah. Um, Sarah, you got any tokens? E yeah. Just ten tokens is flying. Trade them to me. I'll I'll give you forty. Not a bad deal, right? Kutaro, what's the matter? Kutaro, what's the matter? You're acting really strange. Strange? Of course not. I'm just a little tired. That's all. I mean, why are you suddenly making such an uneven trade? My own token's got no value. Better than you have them to me. No trade, won't you, Sarah? Hold on a second, this is definitely just too weird. You imagine things, it's just a regular trade. I wouldn't give you a raw deal, trust me. I'm never a raw man. I like my steak, well done. But, please, Sarah, I'll give you 40 tokens, just give me 10. Hmm. 
I'm gonna do it anyways. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna offer him tokens. Actually, how many tokens do I have? I think I have 160. So even if I take his tokens, I won't have enough for the vending machine. Hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna offer him tokens. I feel like he's nervous about something. Does anyone know where I can buy KG cuddles? Uh an AO3 can help with that. Alternative universe? I think that's what it is. I don't remember. He's saying the guy who has a Pac-Man on his shirt is acting strange. Ma'am, his whole character is strange. His name is Q Taro Burgerberg. <laughs> What'd you do with your dirty money? I snuck it in through the sphincter technique. I'm gonna offer him tokens. I like Q Taro. I understand. Let's trade Kutaro. Right. Well, I've got places to go. Wait, no, I thought I was gonna give him some. Oh shit. Oh right. Oh well. Hmm. I'm still caught up in Kutaro's behavior. Ever since the laptop incident, Kutaro's clearly been acting strange. I saw him head towards the long stairs. Maybe I should go look. I said, do I have um, enough now? 50, 50, 30, 30, 20. That would be 180 plus 10. So I need 10 more. Motherfucker. Hmm. Uh, long stairs. Oh, I see. I can hear the sounds of tokens being inserted. Kutaro. Oh, fuck. S Sarah, what's up? W what's up? That's my life. What are you doing, Kutaro? D don't worry. You got a bad habit for that. Please, stop what you're doing. What in the world is that vending machine? Don't get in my way, Sarah. I collected 200 tokens. 200 tokens? I can see the number 200 written in blue above the machine. Just like at the prize exchange. Don't tell me. Is it... The escape ticket? G <laughs> Could you be trying to buy a soda? You're trying to buy a soda from that vending machine, aren't you? I ain't that thirsty. I'm not a thirsty bitch like you. I see the way you look at Keiji's thick, thick biceps. No, Kutaro, you are thirsty. For the air outside. Hold up, Sarah, settle down, okay? I'm gonna investigate the escape route so we can all lead a revolution together. So all of us can escape. No, that's a lie. You value the spirits of fair play. You value the spirit of fair play, Kutaro. If that were really your intent, you would have told me about that before the trade. But you didn't say anything. Because you wanted to escape alone. What's wrong with that? I ain't done nothing unfair. I'm just, uh... Right, I earned fair and square, so I can get outside first. And I call and call for help. It's a hell of a lot more realistic than rebelling against who knows how many kidnappers. I ain't got no intention to leave you guys to die. I ain't gonna trouble you. Please, let me go, Sarah. That's underhanded. We should all leave together. Even kids are hanging tough. Hmm. We should all leave together, guys. Together. We gotta use the power of friendship. Have we overcome difficulties together? I know, but we even overcame our allies' death. Then when we leave, we leave together. Right, Kutaro? We're all in this together. Uh, I don't remember the rest of that song. Where's the hope of that? If we pass on this, up next another main game. Someone dying with certainty. They will be killed like Mishima or Joe. Or off themselves like Kai. It's one or the other. But this is our chance. That way one of us could finally return. Kutaro. I ain't never stood on the mound as a first stringer. I... I gotta prove that even people without parents can have dreams. Make... <laughs> My parents died. Please let me escape first. I know there are women and children stuck in the building, but like, I didn't get to play baseball as the first stringer, and my parents are dead. Please let me leave. <laughs> I gotta show the kids at the orphanage. Kutaro. Kutaro's fingers are touched the last token. Oh fuck, how do I do this again? Uh, it was like Joey, right? Yugi, sorry. We get to mention a little something. What is it now? You're not gonna say you didn't expect us to really get 300 tokens, you couldn't actually escape. Dumbass. Of course you can really escape. It's a real deal freedom. You'll be free from the threat of death. But you know, I didn't tell you how we handle the ones who were left. This is what you call a solitary victory. 
Solitary victory. What does that mean? It means everybody here except the escapee dice. I, I didn't hear nothing about. I didn't hear nothing about this. <laughs> Sorry, Plum forgot about it. You think that'll cut it, damn it? I already used all those tokens. How dare you do this? Yeah, guess it's not very fair, eh? Gotcha. I'll pay him back just for you all the tokens you used. Great, right? Good for you. You don't have to kill your allies. Huh? What's the matter? Stop now and I'll give the tokens back, okay? Ooh, look at that face, bro. He's gonna do it. No, don't tell me you're gonna sacrifice them just to save yourself. What? How scary! Guitar, you can't... Hmm. Cling to him is not gonna do shit. This dude is like twice my size and three times my weight. Stop this foolishness. Real deal freedom. This lying doll is just making it all up. You're being tricked. Oh. I am sorry. Sarah. Stop. Kutaro. No. Cluck chunk. Ah. Beep, 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 beep. We're dead. Oh, bad ending. I hear a clamorous noise, an inorganic mechanical sound, a very long, endlessly continuing sound. Mixed in with it is the faint sound of a door opening. Qutara disappears into the light behind the door. Gazing at the light of hope, mere meters away, I sense my senses come to a halt. Game over. I guess you do have to cling to him. Damn, okay. I guess we can physically stop Kutaro. Or I guess we just don't. We do not give him the tokens. I mean, he's not going to get up tokens if I don't trade with him, right? So, uh, what's the matter? We done goofed. We did gun goof. I thought coercing was the only way, Jared. But clearly, if me and you were stuck in this death game, we actually would have died. I refused to trade. Okay. And then, now what happens? He's going to go to the long stairs. Hey, bastard. How you doing? What do you want? Oh, scary, come on. All right, no delinquents on my watch. Now time to watch for a parent-teacher conference. Uh, parent-teacher conference? Hey, you collecting those tokens, you bastard. Tokens, I am. Yeah. How wonderful, Miss Sarah. You're a fine girl for doing as the teacher says. Are we done? It's so stubborn. Your heart's getting worn down. Well, anywho... By the way, you peeped any of the personal info, you can get the prize exchange. With those prizes, you can boot up AIs in the modern room and talk to them. Amazing, huh? Artificial intelligences. There's still so much we don't know about that. Ranger, could you tell me more about the AIs? You got a bad attitude, kid. Act cutely and I'll think about it. Does it say what? Mm. I'm gonna be... <laughs> Fake tears. I'm gonna do... I'm gonna ask cutely. Wait, I hate that. What, you hate Ranger? Oh, you want to punch their face? Yeah, he's a he's a bit of a dickhead. Seems like one anyways. Mr. Ranger. Please tell me. What if I don't want to? Coward, just tell me, Ranger. Well, whatever. I'll tell you. The AIs are basically super detailed reproductions based on y'all, the participants. In fact, the AIs use hearts, processing superb emotional capabilities. The personalities and memories, too, are all based on the info gotten from observing all you for ages. Observing us for ages? Yep, and we update your memories periodically, every six months. So if we get serious about it, we can get them done in about a day. Truth is, if it was planned to steadily update him with your memories during the death game, too. But when we tried putting memories in his own death, the Mishima AI had bugged out. Why, you... But, you know, constructing the personalities from AI is a lot harder than that. Unlike memories, it's up to... Up, wait, wait. It's enough work to just to update the personality every three years. Wait, how long have you been watching everybody? That's so suspicious. You realize yet? Your day to lives have been watched out tirelessly. Anyways, I guess that's about it. Do your best not to die, Sarah Children. If you do die, I'll be taking those damn clothes off your hands. Got me. He's a real piece of work. Royal Bastard. Day 3. 
noon. Those crazy eyes. I I really like the expressions on the characters. I know they like most of the time it's usually like pretty flat laced, but like when they're having emotions, they're really fucking going through it. Like Kana grows like twenty eye bags in a matter of seconds. So let's save now that we're not gonna die. And then hmm. KG maybe? Well, I'm glad that So got his hands off Kana, finally. He's not messing around with her in the hallway anymore. So... Poor Kana. Poor Kana, man. Poor Kana. Seriously. That poor, poor girl. I just even talked to Keiji. Will you help me collect stars, meow? Yeah, a good policeman's gotta be kind to kids. If you're gonna treat me like a kid, I'll pass. Woof. Draco? Can't find Kana or So anywhere. One of the rest in their room. Mmm, relaxation room? What do you two have to talk about? Um, I'm short on clear chips, so I was wondering if I could trade you for some. Huh? You're still collecting them? But springing on me all of a sudden, springing that on me all of a sudden. I don't want to trouble Sarah or Reiko. Alright, I'll think of something. You guys need to talk to me, I got all the chips, bro. I got all the chips. I'm here to be your chips pimp. Can I rest? What do I do now? Have, haven't I done all the, uh, I think I've done them all, right? Atlas, you softy, I suppose deep inside you're a silly wacko. I think a lot of the characters are like that. I feel like they might have like a wacky exterior where they're all just big softies. Except for, um, I mean, even though, even Kutal, even though he's a coward. I think the only one who's probably not a true blue softy is probably just fucking Sarah. I feel like Sarah's like the only non-softy here. I feel like she would straight up be a cutthroat bitch if she was in prison. Like a take take no prisoners type bitch. Oh, I didn't do this one. Okay. Let's see. Kana. Ah, eh, whatever. Now we're again. Mm, uh, what's level again? What about... I want to try now, actually. Sarah's actually... I don't know what's the word. But she's scary in a way. <laughs> she's a girl boss. But like the kind of girl boss who would like potentially murder her boyfriend. Not the kind of girl boss who like orders an extra large coffee when she's feeling spicy. Uh, let's see. Kana? Ah, they're all the same difficulty. I guess we could do... I guess we could do now. We could do now. We could do now. Oh my... All I can fucking think about is, uh, is George Dakai when I see that. I don't think she'll kill her boyfriend too easy. But Cece, she already killed Joe. Probably make him suffer much more. I mean, that's what she did. Let's partner with now. Understood, I'll try to meet you. <laughs> hey, you can't. <laughs> you do that not to fucking Joe. <laughs> I'm just saying it's a real example, bro. I'm just saying it's it's real and don't get up close like that. <laughs> What's wrong with that, CC? What's wrong with eating clothes to tell you that she shred up just like tortured Joe for like five minutes? Okay, let's see. What's fly swatter? Uh how courageous Sarah. Oh how how courageous Sarah. <laughs> let's see. Fly swatter rules. Insect charm will release many bugs. Touch and defeat all of them within the time limit. Okay, got it. Okay, so I just gotta smack them, right? Oh, this is easy as hell. Okay. This is a this, this is like fucking like a worse version of Galaga, bro. I was literally playing this at the arcade the other day. This is easy as fuck. Alright. Oh wow, a big one. Ooh, so spooky. You act like I've not killed a big bug before, bro. I don't have bug phobia, whatever it's called. Oh, but these things are actually cool, though. Why are you killing the fucking, like, daddy long legs, bro? They're, they're good. They're fun. They're not even actually spiders. Oh, God. Oh, God. Fuck. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, hey, stop fucking moving, bro. My mouse can't keep up, bro. My mouse can't keep up. This is why I can't play first-person shooters, bro. This is why I can't play first-person shooters. Come on. 
I think I need to practice the technique I used to try to save Joe and like slam my fucking button down instead of the way I'm doing it currently. Do they always move in squares? Oh, they do. It's like a pattern. Okay. Follow the pattern. Follow the pattern. There we go. Easy as fuck, boy. Easy as fuck, boy. Easy as fuck, boy. Easy as fuck, boy. Bop. Last one. That ain't no bug I ever seen. That ain't so that ain't no bug I haven't gone down seen. Easy GG. No wonder that was like fucking one tier difficulty. And now I have ten clear chips. I control this game. We done it, Sarah. We made it back safely. Let's share the clear chips. Obtained one clear chip. But that the attraction is done. I think that's the last attraction, right? Should be. Hopefully. Negotiation time. Why are you doing this to me? Why do you play with my heart like this? Why do you just decide to just rip your hand in my chest and just fucking pull out my beating heart? <sighs> okay, hold up. I mean, talking to Joe is going to give us trauma. And I really don't... I mean, like, you know... I feel like... I don't know what to do with him. I don't really know what I gained from talking to him. I feel like this is the only one that has relation to Sarah. I guess we're going to do... Mm, this is tough. This is tough. This is tough. Joe... Uh, Joe's definitely going to give me trauma. Everything here seems perfectly going to want to be. Yeah, to totally normal uh, discussion round where we just talk to three people. Let's just talk to Kai. Oh. Oh. Maybe... Maybe that wasn't the best decision. Maybe I should not have clicked on one of the dead bodies. Cut off his wrists. Pierce his body. Burn off his head. Good thing Term's not here. What happened? Hey, are you okay, Meow? Ah, big sis Sarah, you, you're up, Wolf. We're having a nightmare, okay? Meow, you okay, Wolf? Ugh. At some point, I'd fallen asleep at a table in the lobby. I'll bring water, Meow. You should drink it, Wolf. <laughs> My man was dedicated to, uh, dedicated to his other man, so I gotta, he, I'm reminded of him every single time I see that dude now. Every time I see that apron. Oh god, my hallucinations. Sarah. Why? Why didn't you save me, Sarah? Uh, no, no more, no more of this. Big sis Sarah, I bought water. Meow. Thank you, kid. Drink in the water, calm me down a little bit. Thanks, you. I guess I was having a scary dream. Yeah. Gin seeing me like this making me, him uneasy. I need to put a smile. You don't have to force it, meow. Gin. A squishy paw covered my head. You won't have scary dreams if we work together, wolf. Don't worry and relax, meow. First chance I'll get him ditching this kid. Again, what about the attractions? It's all the worrying other people that gets you so tired, meow. Big sis Sarah, we believe in us and the rest, meow. Believe. You're exactly right, Gin. Seeing each other's presence through our hands, we both rested. One. Two, three, ten. I count them over and over, and there's no mistake. I collected enough clear chips. I'm safe now. I survived the sub game. It's over. Over? No, it's about to begin again. The main game. No. Someone will die again. No, 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 no. Ah. I'd fallen asleep without realizing it deeply, like the dead. I like how Sarah, Joe, and Alice have the only anglicized names. Everyone else, except for Kyutaro, uh, have Japanese names. Hmm. That's a good point. Well, yeah, I guess that's true. That is true. I think Joe actually is, though, his name is, like, J Joe, like, oh, yeah, like Cece said. I think he just calls himself Joe with an E, like, American-wise. But I think his actual name is, like, Jao. 
I don't know what you call it. Joao. Joao. <laughs> just, just don't mind me butchering this name. I was supposed to be Arasu, but the translation did it like that. Oh, so then who's Sarah supposed to be? Is it just Sarah? I mean, she's the special girl, right? As if gravity's crushing into me, I can't move. Has all my exhaustion caught up to me? Was everyone else able to collect enough clear chips? My eyes quickly glanced around the room. I realized there was somebody there. I can't move my body. Help. You can't show anyone. There's a rustling on top of the chair. Before I knew it, they were gone. Who? It would be the American that survives the killing game. I mean, hey, when we gotta kill, we're killing each other out in the street. You learn how to defend yourself. Sitting up hastily, my body felt very light. I slept like I was dead. Something being placed in the chair. Bin. What is this? Obtained four papers. Four big papers. And they tell me the rules. These look familiar. Oh, huh. Oh, it's the jobs. Our names. Names, occupations, and mysterious numbers. I remember this. What are the percentages, though? What is it, Meow? Take a look at this. It's a piece of paper I picked up. They're damn guns. God, I love them guns. Meow. This looks... This looks like guns. This is guns. Yeah, it does. Similar wolf. Totally the same wolf. Look at this. If you remove the left half... And connect it to the piece I have... Meow. They connected wolf. These are the same the sheet that Gin showed us in the main game. And they're not torn up. It's four sheets. Sixteen people's names. Sixteen. Four names per page. Hey, wait a second. That doesn't make any sense. Because in the last main game, the emails between about the death game that Kai found said there were 17 participants. Yeah, the sheet is missing. Who's missing, though? What are the percentages? Oh, is this gambling on who's going to win? Oh, yeah, that could be it. 99.5 KG Shinogi, ex-detective. Ex-detective. Has KG left the force? People are dying. We're somehow getting more participants. I think uh, Jared and his people who died in the very beginning test. Because the very first uh, start of the game, you have to escape a death trap. And if you don't survive the death trap, you don't make it to the actual game. So I guess, what, three people died in the beginning? Kana's sister and then two more that I can't recall? Who wrote them? What are they trying to say? I can't be taken in by this. It might be a trap. Settle down. Take a deep breath. One calm. I realized the situation I was in. It's not the same time to be looking at these. Where is everyone? Let's save. Save down here. I'm gonna go to the lobby. No one's here. There's not a single person in the lobby. Away. Guys, where are you? Looking in the windows, the morning sun shone radiantly into my eyes. Today is the fourth day. The time limit's up. Hmm, that wasn't so bad, was it? This worthless subgame is over already. Alice! What is it? Sarah Choden. You seem surprised. Morning. Pretty refreshing one, eh? The hail's refreshing about this. Damn it! In the end, we still got no means of escape. Now, now. Maybe we should be glad we're still alive, huh? Loner's a loner, but still stubborn. Woof. What a world meow. But I'm glad no one had to be sacrificed, truly. Everyone, all my friends, and so. Not a single one of us is missing. I wish so was missing. This isn't a dream. This won't go how the kidnappers are expect, expected to. Huh, didn't count on this. The old bastards of cockroach levels are stubborn. Don't make light of us. We're more stubborn than roaches. Yeah, yeah, guess I underestimated that. Honestly, I figured at least one of y'all died. Well, whatever. There's a place I watch out. I want y'all to come to. What? Don't tell me. The men came ready. All my friends and so. <laughs> Not just yet. Gotta save the most fun for last. Uh, asshole. 
Come on, just look behind you. Eh? Nar. A door. Great design, right? I want you to go through there. Scratch that, you are gonna go through there if you don't want to get killed. What should we do? Don't worry, we went all within the rules. Shouldn't be anything too absurd. Guess we gotta go, Meow. Let's go, Wolf. Uh, I could just save again. Save again real quick. Oh, just click. Let's just go. Fuck it. We're going in. Main game number two. Who's dying? Oh, it's it's Saffalin. Looks like your bastards have assembled. What do you want was now, Meow? We've all collected our clear chips. Shouldn't be any problem. This stupid game's over, you damn doll. Nah, sorry to say, but the sub game's not over yet. Eh? Let's announce the results. Y'all haven't forgotten this was a game of buying and selling tokens, right? I get it. The number of tokens we've gotten by trading. Specifically, we're counting up the totals of other people's tokens you touched at least once. That means even tokens you lost are forgetting them count towards the total. So we don't. So we don't have to take, have them currently. That's right. I told you this game's switched out trust in tokens, yeah? The amount you handed. That's what matters. So naturally, however many of your tokens you got, they won't be counted. Now to announce the standings, line up. The superb person who earned the most trust will be awarded a special privilege. Privilege. Let's get to it. The glorious title of first place goes to. It's gonna be fucking so, isn't it? I swear to God. You gotta say though, the voice you get this. <laughs> I I wanted to give him just like a little bit of narcissism, but like a higher pitch tone, and I feel like it landed perfectly for the type of person that he is. But thank you. <laughs> I'm trying, man. I have to channel my inner lanky, stinky, jobless loser gamer boy persona. Qtaro. Oh, Qtaro Burger Berg. Congrats. Hey, Cece, thank you so much for the lurk, my man. Enjoy whatever you're eating. I hope it's fucking delicious. Yeah. Okay, stand right here. Oh, God, please don't die. Oh, well, ahem. let's see. Can I have an interview? Who are you? Don't mess with me. What's this privilege I got? You guys above you haven't? I have eaten, but thank you very much, Cece. What a spool sport. I'll explain it later. Everybody at first does get a price. So I'll just announce them in order. What's this annoying butter 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 bus thing? <laughs> okay, that was cute. <laughs> What's this annoying butter butter road thing? Don't interrupt me, Saffin. Well, you told me to do it just like at the rehearsal, didn't you? Announcing the top three Kana Kizuchi. Me? Alice Yabusami. <laughs> Er, and so he or he was a close fight. Hm. Not a bad placing. Sounds like the reaction of a guy who's never gotten first in his life. <laughs> Oof. God. On the smack dab middle. The most stunning the average is. Keiji Shinogi. Ah, just barely held in there. Hm. Surprise, I'm not trusted. Oh, our flunking students are three idiot girls. Sarah Choden, Reiko Yabasami, and now Echo Goro. Who you calling idiots? This ain't a game. Okay, three idiots. Gather over here. Now that's the bottom of the barrel. In the very last... I mean, it's Gin. Yeah. In the very last places. Gin Ibushi. Came in dead last. Just the worst. Don't call me dead last. Woof. You're making me mad, meow. Come on, you got zero tokens. Soon you just accept them from everybody. I didn't want to do something that's like trading money, meow. Stub it to the end. Do these kids these days not care if they lose or what? Well, whatever. Let's take care of the crime of the photo. Stand right there. Can't take this. Is Ranger playing around? I'm getting a bad feeling. In place. Good. Now smile wide. Oh. What the fuck is... Why is Q transparent? And why is Ren hung like fucking Neon Ellis is ever... I can't fucking speak. Neon Genesis Evangelion style. What's what's going on? The hell is this? What are you up to now? I can't move me out. Gin. Kutaro. Okay, but why is it so up there? Jared and asking the real fucking questions. 
Ranger, let those two go, or else. Yeah, <laughs> how about no? Oh. What? What's this cage? You stay put right there. Please let us out. Ranger, the hell you doing? Let them all go. You aren't still going to do something to them, are you? Okay, you three nosy idiots girls. Watch over there from the impression room. Huh. Why am I rooting for Cajun now? Honestly, because he seems like the only reliable person that's not Sarah. And Sarah's kind of a psychopath. What is this? We're, we're high up. The ground's rising. As a reward for your efforts, I'll give you a special invitation. Good for you. What do you mean, impression room? God damn it. Cut the crap, Ranger. Better stop shouting and start listening, because I'm about to explain the rules. Rules, you say? The rules for the final attraction. The arbitration room. Currently, in first place is Kutaro. And la oh, he's behind it. Oh, it's like a glass. Oh, that is not what that looked like at all. Okay, now I understand what's happening. Currently in first place is Kutaro and last place is Gin are attached back to back on the target. Soon, the timer will begin. When the timer hits zero, the machine will activate. And a venomous stinger will be fired at the last place Gin. Me meow. The venom of the Ricardo giant scorpion is powerful. He'll die very painful. You're, you're kidding me, Al. Why wolf? I've got ten stars. Wolf, meow. It's only natural to hand out plenty of penalties to last place supers who didn't even earn anyone's trust. You didn't hear anything about that? Not once. <laughs> Sorry. No. Uh, no, that can't be. Damn it. Shit. How is this not just an execution? Okay, fine. I'll give you one way to save him. If the one who gathered the most trust wants to take his place, I might accept that. See? Ooh. Kutaro, the red switch is in front of you. Press that and the target will do 180 and the sting will lay him to you instead. You don't mean the privilege was. The privilege to be sacrificed for Gin. You're free to do whatever. The switch is in duty. It's a privilege. Muscle gorilla. Well then, shall we get started? The rest of you can just take it easy. Help. Help. Help me out, muscle gorilla. Yeah, Jay, he's just fucking dead. Qtaro's not gonna save him, bro. What is this? Means of rescue. What is this? Oh, don't show their fucking faces, bro. I don't need to see that. Just uh, take them off, bro. Come on, please, be a sport. That asshole. I knew something was wrong with just ending it like that. Eh, Gian, we have to do something. The LCDs have activated. The timer started. Crap, what now? What should we do? We can't jump down from the side. Ain't there any way we can interfere? What can we do? You must be reminded of your failures, bro. Please, I don't want to be reminded of my trauma, bro. I don't I didn't come on here to get trauma stung by my performance trauma. I just want to have some fun with the girls. Interesting term. Kai is dead. Break from, from the, the ads? ads? Wanna break okay, from the ads? Okay, let's see. Let's extract some info from her. Can I, like, extract info from the monitors? Nope. And the two top. Very true, very true. I don't want to sacrifice anybody. But how? Well, Sarah, what should we do? Earlier Ranger called this the final attraction. Ah. So far, the attractions have all been made to be beatable. So there must be something, a way to save Gin. Sarah, let's think about it. We absolutely can't give up. Hey, now what warranted this? <laughs> Term? <laughs> uh, it's just warranted by existence, that's all. You can't say that, but all we can do is watch. The guys on the ground at least might be able to do something, but from this place, we can't even get near Gin. Reiko. Over and over, we've been shown hope only to be betrayed. This must be the same thing. I think even Reiko's losing heart. Sick term, you're the one who got a friend and tried to convince him that he could save Joe. That's some sick bastard shit, truly. We have to think, right, Sarah? Yes. When I'm with you, Sarah, I feel like I'm going to come any difficulty. If we all think together, we should hit up upon with something. 
Lose Gus. Have some kind of revelation. Anything. Time's limit is pretty short. Best of luck with you. <laughs> now drunk. <laughs> She's drunk on the atmosphere. In this discussion, there is a limit before the venomous stinger is fired. Use the extract to draw statements and uh, as well as failures of the versus verse item will advance time. Do your best not to let the stinger be fired. Okay, so we have 35 seconds, I think, right? Yeah? So let's distract some statements uh, from Qtaro first. Please, guys, have some kind of revelation, anything. You gotta help. Gin! Gin! Okay, v very useful, Qtaro. We have to think, right, right, Sarah, first? Uh, what should we start with? Uh, now, stay calm. Think about what we're able to do first. Yeah, sorry. What can I do? All I can do is observe. What I'm curious about here is, uh, why are there two LCDs, I wonder? I'm guessing one of them is a timer counting down to when the Venomous Stinger fires. Yeah, that's right. And the left LCD will be the Venom Trimer. It's ticking down moment by moment. Okay, now it's got a composure back, good. And then, you can say, you can say, <clears throat> you can say that, but all we can do is watch. I mean, what else do you think we can do? Uh, see if there's a trick in the room. Yeah, we can check if there's a special trick or something like the impression room. Some trick. Got it. The first thing you notice is these two LCDs, huh? The right one says left 35.5. No doubt that's the timer for the poison. I bet when it goes down to left to zero, Gin's gonna. Okay, Reckos, calm down. Good, good, good. Okay, so now I gotta figure out what I can use. Because there's nothing that he's going to give me, right? Oh, but I wanted to read the paper. Hmm. The Web of Happiness. Huh. Code inside. Torn paper. Hmm. I mean, none of these conflict, right? Have a kind of revelation. Oh, wait, these guys are conflicting with each other. They both... Yeah, yeah, they, they both think... Uh, now thinks of this one, and Reiko thinks of this one. So I guess I'll we'll just... Bang, bop. Wait a second, Reiko. Now she got some... <laughs> Man, are you sure you haven't been in the South? <laughs> I've never actually been, like... Uh, in like the deep south, but I've come across some southern people in my life. <laughs> yeah, what? And the timer for the venomous stinger on the left LCD. But the right LCD says left 35.5, ain't this one with the timer? It's not moving. That's true. Left 35.5 displays on the right LCD isn't changing at all. What? You're right, it ain't going down. But if it's not a timer, what's the right SD supposed to be showing? Um, I don't know. I don't know, but I think I can think of one thing. It might be the key to solving the trick behind this attraction. Really? You really want to claim this way to save Gin, huh? There's like hell I'm going to run. Let's figure this shit out. Well, that was easy. First, we need to think about what left 35.5 is talk about, right? It's probably left as in remaining, huh? Maybe we do have to lower the number or do something to free those two? In which case, what's important is the units on the left 35.5. Length, width, volume. If we know the units, we'll solve the pri the mystery. But even if we narrow it down to length, it could be meters, inches, yards. You should have to figure out what it's related to. That should give us a hint. A person, an object, an action. Like, say it's a number related to now, then... Or, for instance, if we cut 35.5 centimeters off now the hair, Gin will be saved. If changing up my style will save Gin, I'll cut off as much as I need to. I really don't think it's that, though. We all gonna do is see what pops in my mind. Honestly, this battle is more in about intuition than logic. But I have no doubt this number has something to do with the present here. We'll find an escape. Even if we have to use brute force. I can't clear anything, right? And then... Those are the rule books. These are codes. Cancel a choice. Hmm. Band break up. <laughs> Four papers. <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. 
I'll just save the last one. It's spreading? Wait, what? <laughs> the South is spreading. <laughs> What's important is the units for left. 35.5 length, weight, volume. If you know the units, will we solve the mystery? It'll take time, but we need to narrow it down. Sarah, between the length, weight, and volume, which one do you think is most relevant? Probably weight, right? Because what length will we even be talking about? Maybe volume. I feel like it's weight. How about weight? 35.5 kilograms. 35.5 grams. Um, 35.5 kilograms would be about the weight of a grade schooler. The weight of a grade... Oh, it's like Gin's weight. I bet it's Gin's weight. Time advanced. Okay, what about what was Rake off to say? If you can just figure out what's related to that, she gives a hand a person an object in action. Honestly, I got no guesses here, but... Hey, Sarah, which do you think the number would be most related to? A person, an object, or an action? Definitely, I think it's Gin's weight. How about a person? A person, in that case. I wonder if it could be a number related to Gin, us being targeted by the Stinger. Hmm, got no proof, though. It's just a suggestion. Yeah, it's Gin's weight. How do I... I mean, it's not really like a conflict, but like... Can I combine... Can I combine the two statements by doing conflict? Like doing this? Oh, there we go. Wait now, what'd you just say? Er, that 35.5 kilograms is about the same weight of a grade schooler. I wonder if... Hey, again, you weigh yourself at school, right? Meow. Tell us you're weighting kilograms, how much is it? 35.5, yo. That's exactly it, the number on the LCD. Is this just a coincidence? It's just too exact to be uh, it's just too exact to be a coincidence. But what in the world does it mean? Hmm. We're thinking it's left 35.5, right? So then either increasing or decreasing the value should give us the answer. Increase or decrease 35.5 kilograms. What where? Who? Let's think about this. Let's say whatever you can think of. Oh god, do I have to sacrifice one of these two to save Gin? Like, it's like weight on the platform. Wait, 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 decrease, increase, 35.5 kilograms. It's no good, I'm starting to panic. Wait a second, I just got it. Oh? Huh? This platform we're riding. The impression room itself is a giant pressure switch. No way. It's saying we need 35.5 more kilograms to press down the switch. So it's just playing left 35.5 kilograms because if we add 35 if we in the platform, maybe some machine to rescue again will start up. Mm, no, I think it's I think it's it's if it's a pressure plate, then that, that doesn't make sense. An American Southern woman knowing weight in KG, and I know this is fantasy. See, she's a Japanese American Southern woman who knows KG. In that case, it makes sense, you know. Her parents thought her KG. And then when she went to school, they made fun of her saying kilogram instead of pound. I, mean, I know it's like this, right? I call nonsense. <laughs> it's just it's just simple math. It's just simple math, Jordan. Oh wait, tell me what it is. We jump. If this platform really is a scale measuring our weight, then the weight needed to increase while we're airborne and decrease from the impact when we land. Basically, if you hop around, the left KG should fluctuate. Oh, that's a pretty good answer. Here it goes. Rick, I leapt into the high end of the air. Well, Sarah, did it change? No, it didn't move. Seriously, not for a second? Oh, God, it is spreading. Nope, there was no reaction. Then is it related to that? What is it related? Is it unrelated after all? I mean, the impression room really is just getting an impression. Whatever we, does, whatever we do doesn't make any sense. The impression room just for outsiders. Even leaping didn't change the display. But it actually is relevant. Um, Sarah, despite what Rico says, I wonder if they're really irrelevant. Poison timer in the left 35.5 display. Why are they here only where we can see them? Ah. And also, why are just the three of us separated out? Ranger said we had special invitation, but... Sure enough, there's too many oddities for that to be the case. Oh, the, th the high places aren't here. Well, what does that have to do? I don't think it's that. I think it's not good for view. Hmm. 
I mean, I, what I want to say is that... Oh, because we're the least trustworthy, I guess? I don't know. I have place down here. Ranger said that this reward for our efforts. Yes. But considering that, it's bizarre that only those of us who place low are here. Huh? I wonder, is the goal of the impression room to be a penalty? Is it punish the flunking students? It's not unthinkable. Time advanced. What do we do? Does it make a difference? What the hell can we do? The damn ranger will pay for this. And then... That's what I meant. Then... Oh wait, no, no, no. I think, it has, I think that probably has to do with the rule book, right? Hold up. Let me check. I feel like the punishment thing is related to a rule or something. Let's see. Uh, please use as you wish. The web of happiness. Ban breakup article. That's just the rules for the first voting game. No? Is, is it conflict? I don't think it's conflict. Okay, never mind. We just gotta keep doing that then. Now, repeat that for me. Er, I think this room is meant to punish us. What are you talking about? And so what if it's punishing us? They got nothing to do with rescuing Gin, right? I mean, if that were true, there'd be no reason to separate us from Keiji and the others. I'm sure this room is connected to the mechanism to rescue Gin. Maybe our punishment is related to left 35 KG display. It's irrelevant. Nothing we do uh, has got any maiden. Take a good look. No matter how much we leap around, the display ain't changing. With that, Reko jumped high in the air again. Thump. Huh? The hell? I just heard a sound. Say what? I think it came from the floor. I'll try touching around. There's a faint rattling noise from this tile. I wonder if there's a small indentation of the gap between the tiles that I could get my fingers into. This tile here, it's removable. Hey, All right, tear it off. Ready, and? I hope it means soak gets knocked off. Let's just throw, let's just throw a vat of acid in there. I know the cage is in there, uh, but you know, sacrifices must be made. Oh, that's a bunch of spikes. At the bottom of the deep, deep hole was a bed of large spikes. Yaks, what the hell is this, a trap? Sarah, there's writing on the back of the tile. On the back of the tile is written to rescue. To rescue. Just then a piece of the tile fell to the bottom. Ah, it's the amount of weight that has to be on the spikes. I think I remember Sam saying earlier that so weighed about like 108 pounds. How much is that in kg? Like 50, 45, something like that. So, you know, I think so would be the perfect weight to throw down this hole. Eh, the number on the right LCD. Left 35.3. It went down a little. I wonder what that means. The weight of the fragment. The weight of the fragment. But we kind of need KG. We'll isolate So and hand him for later. So then for now, we got to keep So alive, just in case for KG. Hey, show, hey, so I want to show you a little something. It's really cool, I promise. Huh? I see. Reko's idea wasn't necessarily wrong. Ranger answered me. At the bottom of this hole, there may be a better spike, but it could also be a scale. Uh, scale. The 35.5 kg on the LCD matches Gin's weight. A piece of the floor tile fell down the spikes and it decreased to 35.3. Most likely, the difference can be accounted for as the weight of the fragment. In short, it's something 35.5 or greater is dropped down there. The venom mechanism will stop. Am I wrong? Co correct! Way to figure out that much with clues like these. You're one amazing bastard. Then can we really rescue? We can save Gian, right? Of course you can. That is, if you can. Now, no time to dwaddle. 35.5 kg. Want to talk about what to use as weight? Progress. Yeah, start ripping up all the fucking tiles. 35.5 kilograms. The walls of the LCDs are on. If we bust them up and open, we should be good to go. All I'm saying is that if So was up on that board, I'd be spending time talking about the weather. <laughs> if So was up on that board, we this wouldn't even be a punishment game. This would be a reward. By your hand. Then what do we do? Something heavy enough to use. There's not this platform, is there? That damn ranger never tend to letting us save him in the first place. 
Is there no hope at all? She knows. She knows someone's gonna have to fall down there to save uh, again. Sarah, you noticed, haven't you? The only way. You mean, I understand now why people haven't placed high on here. Clearly, this is an unwanted duty, and there will be a dispute in this place. I have an answer. One of us has to fall down, don't we? No, there's no other option. Something heavy enough to use. There's nothing on this platform, is there? Damn it, god damn it. I don't care, I'll destroy the SDs in these walls barehanded. And the floor tile would break it up apart and drop it in a hole. I really doubt it'd be I really doubt it'd be 35.3 kilograms. Then then uh, is there no other way to save him? Hmm. But I wonder. Could I use the rope to like allow her to descend down to the bottom and then like you know like have her put her feet like on the side of the spike so that it doesn't uh like cause her to get like completely fucking skewered. I feel like that's the way to do it. Yeah. Now how the fuck do I tell these guys to do that? Because that's what I want to do. Now the question is, if that's my idea, how do I make the how do I make the characters do it? What? What did you just say? There's only one way to get away of 35.3 kg. A human body. If someone falls, they'll weigh down to switch and rescue Yin. And be skewered. You're saying if we want to save those two, one of us has to be sacrificed. <laughs> you just noticed. Yes, the impression room allows you to leave an impression. With someone sacrificed, you can stop the device. You goddamn. But see, you're all some lucky bastards too, right, Savlin? If Kutara had placed last, he would be over 100 kilograms, so... I imagine all three of you would have to descend in order to save him. Hmm? Did she just... Come on, pay more attention to the time you got left. It really is getting down there. By the way, I think what Sarah noticed is that, uh... Uh, I think, uh... I think, uh, what is it? Fucking... I think she said the word descend, not fall. So I think the implication there is that there's a way to get down without just straight up fucking free falling into the hole. Soon enough, the discussion will be over if you want to settle things quickly. On who to sacrifice? So here I'm hearing about Rismantheus. Ah, you've heard about Rismantheus. Yes, Sonny, Sonny, yeah. I've heard, uh, this, this is a good friend of mine. He, he's been, truly been acting like the Rizzler lately, you know? He's been visiting the uh, the wizards of Waverly Wizzler, Wizards. <laughs> Haggard came up to him and said that he's a wizard. <laughs> is Safflin secret on her side? I think Safflin's like secretly an idiot. And she didn't intentionally say it that way. I feel like... She's definitely just doing that shit. Uh, make a sacrifice for Gian. Hey, what's wrong? Haven't you been racking your brains to do just that? Fuck me sideways. What's going on, Rue? Yeah, you sure about that? Wait, what do you mean? Am I am I privy that my my local wizard is not doing his rizzling activities? Uh, this is uh, what was it? Fucking, oh god, I've lost the southern accent. This is awful. There we go. This is awful. I can't do, I can't decide such a thing. Huh? What are you babbling about? If it were Mishima instead of Gin, you'd push your allies in a heartbeat right now. I don't have risk. Oh, see, yes. Okay, so I'm just going to say, Rune, the absolute wizard. He met Haggard, and he brought him to the, <laughs> the low, <laughs> the Academy of <laughs> Rizarding. <laughs> And Batman and the Rizzler. Rune would play the villain. Uh, don't be ridiculous. I would never. <laughs> if you don't like pushing, you'll just have to sacrifice yourself. Any kind of girls who wish to say again, please screw yourselves by all means. <laughs> You're meddling too much in this human discussion, doll. Eh? It's Rune. Rune doesn't have Riz. He's adorable, but Riz? Rune has Riz. Rune definitely has Riz. I believe this man has Riz. You did not just call me the fucking Rizzler. You 100% are the Rizzler. You are a Rizzard, right? You are, uh, like, Rizmantheus. No? My man has been practicing the game written in the, uh, Rizzard handbook. 
hold up, sorry. Let me just put that right there. Yeah, but I, uh, I trust in my man. I trust in my man. Yes, Riz Mantheus, you know. I'll, I'll call the great king of the many two demons, the 72 demons, the, the 72 uh, demons from the circle of Riz. The, it's, yes, he, he is a participant in the game Resident, Resident Evil. My man is Martin Luther Riz. <laughs> he is a Rizaholic. <laughs> he is Mike Rizowski. He is Riz Al Ghul from the state of Rizuri. And he signed the declaration of Riz Dependence. Do you three remember? Ranger said it when we first met. If you do well in the sub game, then no one will have to die because Rune used his Riz. Currently laughing myself into tears. I have faith in you, bro. Bro, literally change your name to Riz Vane right now. You got this. Ah, right, that's right. Strange, huh? If somebody has to die to win, that violates the rule. Then... There must be some way not to be skewered. I got the fucking rope. I'm ready. Riz F. Kennedy, that's right! Hey, Turtles, what's up, my man? Welcome in, welcome in. Hope you're having a good night. How you doing? But yes, Rune is the Riz F. Kennedy. And this time, it's not his brains that'll be blowed all over the car. Ah, here are you. I'm just backing up my man, bro. I'm just backing up my man. You serious? It's that 35 kilograms. What can the three of us do? Yeah, do that thing from Emperor's New Groove where, like, you go back to back and then you, like, walk down the hole, right? And then you just stand on the, uh, Stand on the spike. Don't tell me to cut off parts of our body. Ugh, I can't do something that's gross. The floor tiles. You ride them tiled. That is not. <laughs> that is not gonna work. That is a terrible idea. Now you are not gonna fucking ride the floor tiles down like it's a fucking surfboard. <laughs> there must be a way not to be skewered, right, Sarah? You can definitely solve this one. Am I right? A way to avoid being skewered. I need to use an item. I'll present it to KG. Okay, then. uh... Should I talk to him? Oh, we're running out of time. Rope. Yeah, use that. This is it! This rope. <laughs> this is it! <laughs> what, God, what does that remind me of? This rope that's had me set mystified. What if the web of happiness is a wire prepared just for this occasion? So if I didn't get this earlier, would somebody have to die here? That'd be my assumption. And I had to pick, probably. Ace Attorney, that's it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God, I played the first two games so fucking good. I really need to finish the third one. The thing from back then, you think that's gonna be... Please think about it, Reiko. OBJECTION! On the top plate, there was also a note. This is the web of happiness, and the final attraction, it may just save your lives. It definitely said that. Say what? I completely forgot about myself after I collected enough chips. But... This is the only place left to use it. Yes, a wire rope of this thickness should let someone hang from it in the sand. Earlier, Safflin misspoke. If, Guta if Guitara had placed last, he would be over 100 kilograms, so... I imagine all three of you would have to descend in order to save him. She said, descend. She never once said, fall. Was this Safflin's mistake, or did she want us to? What's up, Sarah? Nothing. If we fall from such a height, we definitely hit up the spikes and die, but... If we descend with the rope, we can stand between the spikes. Alright, so we can save Gian. Thank goodness, where did you get such a thing? The... Ooh. Ooh. Oh god, this fucking rope. What if it's a lie? What if it cuts? Whoever Whoever's gonna go in the hole is gonna fall. Fuck! Shit, that's so much to spare! The Room of Lies. Room of Lies? Wait a second, uh, is this okay? Well, you don't mean. Rago pulled firmly on the wire, uh, pulled firmly on the web of happiness. Hey, Demetrio! Thank you so much for the raid, man! Deeply appreciated. What's going on, bro? Hope you had a good stream. Raiders, welcome in. I hope you're having a good night. What is up, my man? What were you playing? More Skyrim? Uh, you, you're kidding. You're kidding. 
Oh, the web of happiness snapped easily. It was a fucking lie. I mean, at least it wasn't like a trap where we fell down, you know? And then it just like fucking broke on the spike. No. <laughs> so close. If you just believed a little more, I could have seen you get skewered. How far? How far do these traps go? What kind of happiness? It just showed us and ripped it away. This goddamn thing, it's a web of misfortune. So this was the lie in the room of lies. That's what I'm telling you. You ought to sacrifice someone. What do we do? What do we do? Raid. Yes, Dimitri, but I did have I do hope you're having a good one, my man. Gotta decide, gotta decide who's gonna die. Spin the wheel, baby. Spin the wheel of death. This is no good. If no one talks, we're just wasting time. What can we do? What options are left? Sacrifice myself. I must save. I must save. I must. I must. I must save. I must save Gideon. Let's go. <laughs> Isn't it simple? If I really wanted to save Gideon, to save who I want to save, I should sacrifice myself. There's no need to worry or suffer. That's my answer. Oh, bro, come on. That ain't like you, uh, God, I'm fucking mixing it with Ranger's voice. That ain't like you, Sarah. We can't give up yet. Sarah. There's still time. It's impossible. Give up, Sarah. Huh? Even you realize, right? There's no way left to save him. But I can't desert Gian. You think I don't feel the same? Let's quit sugarcoating it. We can't save Gian. We just have to give up on him. Just do what I said. Just fucking go back to back, Emperor's New Groove style, and descend the way down. It'll work. You might slip like a little bit, but like at best you'll get like a very interesting experience. You're not gonna like die. How's it going? I was playing more about Skyrim. Oh, cool, man. We hope you had a good time with Skyrim. And again, thank you for the raid. I hope you're having a good night. Uh, RBC Chan, why are you twerking all over the place? <laughs> but welcome, man. I hope you're having a good night. And what is up? Let's get going, ladies and gentlemen, not in bye <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, who is the most non-important character? <laughs> That's wrong. Hey there, I hope you're having a fucking good time. RBC, I'm, about, I'm having a fucking fantastic time. I hope you're having a fucking fantastic day. I hope so. I know I am, and I hope you are. Something's off. Huh? Rayko. Never say something like that. It's not it's not how I really feel, alright? Hope oh, fucking fantastic motherfucker. Yeah, let's go, RBC. Hope you're having a fan fucking fucking tastic bastard ass day, you son of a bitch. <laughs> and thank you so much for the follow, RBC, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I hope you're having a fan fucking fantastic day and I hope you have a fan fucking fucking tastic rest of your night. Uh, yeah, today was a good stream. I got a new sub. So I'm with the hey, Demetrio, congratulations, my man. That's fucking sick. I remember when I got my first, uh, my first sub, dude. Honestly, the first couple songs, it's like so, it's such a crazy feeling, man. I just feel so grateful. Hero is so adorable. Sonny, I hope you're having a fan fucking tastic day. No, you son of a bitch. No, you son of a bitch. I'm in RBC. You're my son of a bitch. <laughs> Me and you will be sons of bitches together. But look now. Can you really sacrifice yourself? I can't do this, so I'm just saying what I mean. No, that's bizarre. It's like, it's like you're not Reiko. Please stop, this isn't time for your petty quarrel. Reiko, you changed. You were so full of affection. Don't act like you know me after how little we've been together. I'm, I'm fine. I'm just accepting the facts. No, you have changed. Now that I think about it, it's, it's ever since. Both of you, get a grip. Sarah, please listen to me. I'm perfectly calm. There's something I kept quiet about. Huh? I know. The one who broke Professor Mishima's monitor was Raiko. What? Huh? But why? I saw it. I saw it when Raiko destroyed Professor Mishima's monitor. But I believed in Raiko. That's why I didn't tell anyone. I... What are you talking about? I've got no memory of that at all. Cool. Cool it now. There's something wrong with you. Wait, please... This isn't time to talk about this. Connor's right, there's no time for fighting, and yet, now seems normally serious about this. Should I entertain the subject? Totally. See, like, 
When we went into the Room of Lies, we pulled somebody with a glove, and I feel like... <clears throat> is this going to be the justification to kill her? I'm kind of worried. This is the justification to kill Reiko. Might be. And I gasped by helping fucking so. I just got here five seconds ago. Well, RBC, despite being here for five fucking seconds, I hope you're having a fan-fucking-tastic day. I hope you enjoy your fucking time here. Fight me, hero. Sonny, all I gotta do is place my hand on your head. That's it. I like the art style of this game. Yeah, Turtles is this really good. I think this game is very uh, pretty. The characters are great. And they did a lot with like the basic uh, graphic style. It could have been Reiko's doll. <sighs> that is true, but then it kind of comes down to... I feel like if we don't sacrifice Reiko, there's going to be some weird justification for like now... Saying she's going to kill Reiko because she killed Mishima again or something like that. I don't know. I don't know how you get out of this situation. Unless like there's a, a killing free solution. Machine is monitor, I've got no memory of that. Quit the stupid culprit searching. You better not push one of us down in a panic. Professor Machine is monitor. You say it really wasn't you? Obviously. I only found I was broken the day af way after. Now it's got it all wrong, and this ain't funny. Is Rekko telling the truth or is it all lies? Believe me, Sarah. Is there a reason she'd have to lie? I don't know. Got any epiphanies on the whole rescue thing yet? Sorry to bother you while you're hunkered down talking, but the venomous thing is going to fire real soon. No way, meow. Stop it, wolf. Heck, I keep you my promises. Sarah, you still ain't got a plan. Give us a little more time. Not good. We have less than a minute. I thought there was some reason. So I kept it myself. Yeah, ask for details. Please, continue. Once I finished talking to Professor Mishima, I left the monitor room and I vowed I would never go back there. But, but, I just couldn't bear it. I wanted to talk to the Professor again. Even knowing I shouldn't, my legs carried me to the monitor room. But I wasn't able to enter. Uh, I sounded like shouting rang out. So I immediately hid myself in the lobby. And I saw Reiko leaving the monitor room with blood dripping from her hand. Her fist, it looked like there were fragments stuck in it. I froze up with fear. And Reiko passed by without even noticing me. It could have been Reiko's doll. Hmm. Ao free head pat. See, Sunny, that just means you won't fight me, so I win. That's a rather deep and gravelly voice you've been giving Reiko. My head cannon is that Reiko is a horrendous smoker, and that's why she stopped singing for her band. When I entered uh, the monitor room afterwards, Professor Mishima was. Reiko must have punched with all her might and destroyed it. But Reiko just went on keeping it sacred. Thinking about it, it was about then that she started acting strange. Just what was she hiding? Is now telling the truth? What in the world? To confirm it. Ooh, wait, what? Who the fuck? Oh, Keiji. He was the one who was investigating the monitor. Yeah, good point. So he's gonna fucking lie to me, obviously. So I'm gonna say Keiji. Keiji, you did investigate into the monitor, didn't you? Ooh. You think that's what's important, Sarah? Guess I'll talk. That this Reiko is the AA doll? See, that's that's what I was leading to with the doll things. I, I'm really starting to think that, like, you know how they call, like, Miley and Safflin and Ranger dolls? I feel like they're robots, right? So what would stop them from just putting AIs into a doll that looks like a character? Reiko broke the monitor. Your friendly policeman saw it, too. But, what if the doll was the one who broke the monitor and not the real Reiko? And the question is, is this a doll? The fuck with the mind of participants. Yes, exactly. And like, you know, then they say, oh, I saw so-and-so do this. But then they have no memory because it's a fucking, like, doll, you know? I'll fight you now. What the fuck? More reason? Sonny, like I said, I put my hand on your head. You don't want to fight anymore. And therefore, I win the fight automatically. So, like, I'm Gucci. But it's a strap from KG. Reiko broke the monitor. Your friendly policeman saw it too. Do we have time to be talking about this though? Yes, we do. We do. We do. It's important. It's important. It's important. Quit this stupid culprit searching. You better not push one of us down in a panic. Hmm. Let me try saving and then I'm gonna do... Let me try saving. And then we're gonna press for more info. <laughs> a win is a win. But Sunny, that means it's my win. No matter what. <laughs> no matter what I win. Obviously, I found it was broken way after. Nope. Nope. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, what? Oh, pff, I failed. Oh, man, you bastards even doing. Time's up, dumbasses. Say what? 
The door will be fired shortly. Oh, hold on. Five. No, wolf, spare me, meow. Finally, I got rid of Gin. Ah, no way to save Gin. Four. Hey, you're kidding me. Hold on. Kutaro. Nope. Big Sis Sour. Three. Help, help. Big Sis Sour, Mr. Policeman. Two. Q Kutaro, help me. One. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, zero. Stop. Stop! It hurts. I don't want to die. Ooh. Whoa, he got pricked. Couldn't save him, eh, Kutaro? Hey, it's fine. I'd say it's natural to pick your own hide over a cheeky brat. Shut up, your goddamn mouth. You're cute character in right now. Help me. Don't go up yet, bastards. There's still a chance left. What do you mean? Wait. There's five stingers in all, and it's set up to fire one every so often. But one sting is worth of venom isn't that strong. So there's still a chance he can be saved. Of course, it was made so the maximum amount would be able to kill a grown man if need be. So whether a kid will let the can survive too, that's a mystery yet to be answered. Damn it, you son of a bitch. Go to hell. Let's continue our discussion. We don't have time for anger right now. So I guess every time I fuck up, it, he's going to get shot at least once, right? Hmm, this is tough. You can think that, though. It's a win for me. No, not at all. You can think that, though. Sonny, it's cute that you could think you would win. I do appreciate it, though. But it's just there's no chance. Let's see. See, like, I guess it's versus this versus uh, this one, right? I'll testify. It's true. I saw Reiko who broke Professor Mishima's monitor. What? Reiko, you should say it yourself already. Any further derailment's a waste of time. What are you spouting? There's no reason to hide it. Isn't that right? What do you mean? <laughs> well, now I was witnessing the incident, hidden in the lobby. I witnessed it too, hidden at the prize exchange. I had a good spot to see everything. The whole conversation between Reiko and Mishima. Oh, did Mishima say to have himself killed? Yeah. I get it. You got any other info? Just a bit. However, I imagine it won't be enough to satisfy you. Well, crap. Oh, well. In addition, I must make a shameful request. What's up? Tell me. Once we are done docking, I want you to destroy me. Well, don't be ridiculous. I shall not hide any information from you. I didn't mean that. You're gonna make now cry. She'll never be able to see you again. That is the idea. Huh? Now resolved herself. She said she would never come back here. She must walk on her own now. I don't want her resolve to be shaken. If I am gone, the temptation will never disappear. I don't get it. Why would you? Don't you wanna? Uh, don't you wanna see her too? I do. And I don't want to die either. Die. The people who created uh, the people who created me must be brilliant. Even an emotion like fear is programmed into me. I feel it. The fear of death. If this monitor destroyed, I will disappear. I am very afraid of that. Then For now's resolve to come to nothing, it is even more terrifying to me than death. Please, Miss Ranko. I can't point a weapon at now's dear teacher. Regardless, Reiko granted Mishima's request. She swung her fist with an unbearable look on her face. But she couldn't confess it to now. Wait, wait, it's... Why, why didn't you tell me, Reiko? Be because of that, I, I suspected you. Now, Keiji. What in the hell you... Oh, ha ha. Okay, this is the doll. This is the doll. This is totally the doll. Got swapped in the room. I think Cage is making this up. You think so? I don't know, man. I feel like I liked your... I feel like the first idea, like this is a doll, it would explain the glove, right? Because I... Fuck, dude. I don't know. What? I seriously don't know anything about that. Who are you mistaking me for? Reiko? I mean, do you see any scars like that on me? You think it... Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. When we first went into the Room of Lies with Reiko, she had scars on her hands. She had scars on her hands. 
If this Reiko doesn't have scars, then it's a fake. You think it's under my gloves or something? Here, I'll show you. Reiko removed both of her gloves. Her hands were clean with not a... This is a fake. This is the fake. This is the fake. There's no wounds. But you were bleeding so much. Yeah, you couldn't be that clean after just a few days. Were you guys seriously seeing a fake or something? A fake? There must be one, right? What do you mean? It's not complicated. Heavy wounds don't just suddenly heal up, do they? The Rico who destroyed Mishima's monitor was a fake. What's he saying? This is turning bizarre. Is there even a point in discussing this right now? The situation's a dead end, anyhow. Aren't you feeling fidgety, Sarah? Can you carry on a discussion while the illogical mystery remains? I... Understood. This is important. Let's discuss the possibility of a fake. I'll keep the doll over, so thank you very much. If I could swap... I would throw so in the hole over Ranger, Miley, over the kidnappers. Any of them, truly. Shut the fuck up, so. <laughs> At any rate, I didn't break the monitor. I don't know what this is about. Could the Reiko who broke the monitor have someone else in disguise? With her tone and behavior, it could only be Reiko. Her voice is definitely Reiko's, too. <clears throat> Whoever has the wound on their hand, that's your fake. But there was any reason for someone to pretend to be Reiko and visit Mishima. Professor Mishima, Professor. Hmm. So if I, if I fuck up again, basically... Basically, if I fuck up during this whole trial, uh, the kid gets shot. That's usually how it works, right? So I can just keep going otherwise. Whoever has the wound on their hand, that's your fake. Get it? Reiko broke the monitor with her fist. If she got a wound, it should be on the back of her hand. So there's someone hiding a wound there. How about... I mean... Who's wearing gloves? Hey, you know, uh... So, I'm just saying, you never take your hand out of your pocket. I, I don't know if that's like a character quirk, or it's just like, this is just like, you know... So yeah, certainly someone seems to have their hand in their fucking pocket, while we're having this discussion about who's hiding hands. Hmm? <laughs> I can't remember if Ranger has a, uh... Has a, uh... Hand marker. Sir Milky... Bro, that is too generous. Thank you so much for the gifted sub to Sunny. You are far too kind, my man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. He's always playing pocket pool. He's texting his friends outside the building at all times like, Hey, you guys want to play a round of billiards? <laughs> okay, my thought process is... I mean, Gin has his hands covered, but it's either... I think it, I'm going to say so. Oh, yep. Here's my hand. People always say they're always clean hands to somebody who never works. Shoot, that was a mistake. Oh, wait, really? Uh, not now. Not Gin, not so. Not Kana. KG, no, KG shows his hand. Ranger or Saflin? I don't remember what Saflin, I don't remember if Saflin wears gloves. I'm gonna say Ranger. Oh, it did work. Okay, sweet. Rio Ranger, the dress-up doll. Yes, he does have a glove on his hand. And come to think of it, though he's a guy, he's got a similar frame to Reiko. Time advanced. Okay, so that's... What did that give me? I guess Ranger was the fake? Yeah, I guess. Okay. Was there any reason for someone to pretend to be Reiko and visit Professor Mishima? It's the professor who's asked me to destroy the monitor, right? Don't tell me did the fake go there and tend to destroy it from the start. Professor, you could try later. Right, right. The discussion will surely relate to saving again. Hmm. Uh, if you're if you're saying there's a fake, hell, I want to go along with it myself. Well then, Reiko, what are you doing? The monitor was broken. I was sleeping, and I'm not lying. Doesn't feel like she is, but yeah. So I guess I use this one for Kana. After all, Reiko wears nothing but makeup. You look after her if you wore it too. But Reiko said she was careful to store her clothes in a room so no one could steal them. None of us could obtain her clothes, so none of us could dress up like her. Dress up? Oh, haven't I heard the word dress up doll recently? Okay, got it. It's nearly time for the section injection. My head hurts, my tummy's grumbling. Damn it, Ranger. Alright, conflict time. 
We saved on this one, right? So let's do this one. We're gonna conflict this one. This one. Might be the other way around, but... There's someone who could get Reiko's clothes. Yeah. We can't get into Reiko's room, so of course we couldn't steal her spare clothes. But it's not us who brought these spares. The kidnappers prepared them, didn't they? Ah. That's right. Ranger and Saflin wouldn't have access to anyone's clothes. Oh, so he doesn't wear gloves. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, but can Kitaro just not turn around now? <laughs> I mean, technically. But you're asking Kitaro to be brave. And I think as we saw earlier, Kitaro's a little bit of a bitch. And the one with a similar frame, who could hide the wound with a glove, is... You, Ranger, the dress-up doll. It can't be. Ranger was Rico's fake. I get it. Him being the dress-up doll wouldn't be so strange around the ability to perfect impressions. <laughs> so stupid. Ah, I love pointless chatter. I'll tell you this, the Reiko is the real deal. What? <laughs> I would never wear the clothes of a living human. It just feels too good to wear the clothes of a poor human who died miserably. Would you understand? Yeah. Then why don't you show us what's under that glove? Sure thing! With that, Ranger removed the glove and showed us a completely uninjured hand. Satisfied now! <laughs> I was wondering why I was hearing deranged laughter. <laughs> it's fucking Ranger, dude. It's fucking Ranger. No way! Uh, that's sure enough, that wasn't a fake. We've just wasted our time in vain. Not necessarily. Eh? Mr. Policeman started to figure out these floor masters. Eh? I could tell from Miley, too. What you've got in common is... You can't lie about the important stuff. That's why you're touching on the topic, but cleverly talking around it. But I noticed... Noticed what? Ranger, just now... You said, that Reiko was the real deal. Why didn't you say, there's no fake? Oh, and if you forgot to say that, I'm giving you another chance. Bastard. If you can't say it, that's the same as confessing that there's a fake Reiko. What the shit? And it's relevant to this final attraction, too. Huh. Where's your proof? It's just my detective intuition. Pretty persuasive. I can feel it. The wound on Reiko's hand is the only clue Eiyamashima left to us. Feels like his intentions are shining some light on us all. Keiji. But how could Reiko's fake be related to this attraction? Listen, Sarah. If the Reiko who entered her hand was real, then who's the fake? Huh? That would be the Reiko with no injury? You don't mean the Reiko right here? You were right, Jaren. You were right. You would lay I fucking nailed that one. So, anyways, you're an uncle. Oh shit, Milky. Congratulations, homie. That's awesome, dude. You've been hanging out, uh, is it, uh, are you a, what is it, niece or nephew, if you don't mind me asking? That's cool, man. The in front of us is a fake. What? Don't be stupid. Yet Ranger said that Reiko who punched the monitor was real, so you who have no wound on your hand means you're the fake. W what? How does that figure? I can't imagine either. The person in front of me is clearly Reiko. Even so, the matter of the injury can't be passed off as just my imagination. If you think logically, this person has to be a fake. Can you prove you're the real Reiko then? Hold the hell up. You're seriously suspecting me. I'm Reiko. No matter how you look at it, I'm real, aren't I? Please, Sarah, don't confuse people with your weird ideas. Niece, brother-in-law is now a dad. Oh, dude, Milky, that's congratulations. That's so much fun. Make me feel old. <laughs> I felt that way, uh, I'm not like a uncle yet, but my cousin who's like older than me, uh, has a kid 
like not too long ago. Like they're just a couple of years old. Adorable. It does make me feel crazy though that it's like someone who's like this close to the age of me is now like a parent. It's wild. We're friends, right? I thought I made a friend I could trust for the first time. But that also means you get to do fun uncle stuff when they get a little older. They give me proof. Oh, oh god. For goodness sake! Why? Please, quit this foolishness. Don't bully Reiko anymore. If you want evidence, I'll give it to her as her brother. This is the real Reiko. What's your proof? The eyes of her brother by blood. I can't possibly be mistaken. KG, you've been tricked- Oh, you know how we're gonna prove it? It's the, uh, the items related to the band. Because remember how, um, remember how, well, who was talking about it? Safflin? I think Safflin was talking about how, or no, Rager was talking about how sometimes the memories don't get updated for like three years. So it's like, uh, it's definitely going to be like the AI is just going to be like a little fucky wucky. <laughs> Not the elusive KG. Tricked. Impossible. <laughs> KG, you've been tricked by Ranger. What? That Reiko was real. This Reiko is also real. That's what Ranger meant. This is a trap, I tell you. One meant to ensnare Reiko. And yet you, you're thinking of sacrificing Reiko to save Gin, aren't you? Alice, listen to me. Sarah Choden. I'm not panicking. I'm making a composed judgment. The disguise couldn't possibly fool my eyes. Her behavior, the slightest gestures, her personality, in every way that is the real Reiko. I've been with her for 20 years. Even through makeup, I could see her true identity. Please, believe me, Sarah. Oh, wow, uh, is that the first time he didn't say the full fucking name? Alice is staring into my eye. He's not lying. Don't listen to him, Sarah. The point of the attraction must be to identify the fake and save Gid. Otherwise, someone will absolutely have to be sacrificed. That's true. So, so... We just have to drop that fake. Oh, see, now's ooh. Mm, now now it's getting a little she's getting a little bloodthirsty. What? She's getting a little she's getting a little hungry. I think I think I think I was right earlier where killing Mishima kinda, you know, just kinda activated the neurons in her brain. And, you know, murder's now an option. There's no time to hesitate. We can save gain unless we drop the fake in there. Now are you trying to frame me? That is not that is the real Reiko. If she were a fake wearing a disguise, I, her brother, would know. If this Reiko was fake, what were you saying she was switched with the real Reiko? Someone could have taken Reiko's place when she was alone. Wasn't there any such time? And there's another big problem. What's the real identity of the fake? I mean, I have the tools to identify a fake, right? Because I have the band notice, right? Uh, and then I have, uh, where is it? <laughs> what the fuck happened to lowering someone with the rope plan? The rope snapped. The rope was a lie. You basically pull on it, like, just a little bit, and it fucking breaks. So it was gonna drop somebody to their death the moment they tried to go in the hole. Hmm. I think it's gonna be this one, and maybe this one. One of those two. One of those two. But I'm gonna extract from... Reiko's place when she was alone. These two are kind of irrelevant right now. This one too. I'm gonna I'm gonna start with so. You know, look, I, I don't want to rely on so, but like he's the he's giving like the most valuable statements right now. So we just gotta swallow our fucking pride and kill him later. I imagine Reiko would have been alone when it was bedtime, but like kind of said earlier, Reiko was very in the very own room. And her clothes are important. So the question if she was ever alone while up and about. Hey, Miss Sarah, do you have any ideas? I can prove Reiko was ever alone, even for the slightest moment. Time advanced. Fuck. Hmm. I mean, I, it's, that's hard to prove. And there's another big problem. What's the real identity of the fake? That's us, of course, and Ranger and Safflin are both present. Is the identity a fake of somebody we don't know? I know what I fucking hate it. <laughs> when you have to rely on somebody you hate to get something done? Yeah, I, it's rough. If this Reiko was a fake, what are you saying she was switched with the real Reiko? Sure, if she was a four-time, then maybe she wouldn't have been exposed. Reiko wears makeup, after all. But wearing the same makeup, you could have similar face. But all she did was go to Mishima's to get information, right? Was there a need to wear a disguise for that? True. 
And how necessary would that information be? Believe me, I'm not just foolishly protecting her. I'm convinced she's the Reiko I know so well. I don't understand. Could her own brother mistake a fake for the real one? There's no time to hesitate. I'm aware of what I'm saying is absurd, but there's no time left. We need to hurry. Our only option is the dropper. Hmm. Oh, we gotta shoot. We gotta shoot again now. Here we go. Ah, looks like you didn't make it. Please stop it already. Five. No more. Four. Ranger, I'll take his place. You can't. Worst case, both of you will. Not like you're giving them freedom. Only Kutaro has the privilege, remember? Three. Kutaro, please. Two. One. I'm pressing. Stop. Kutaro. Pressing the switch. Zero. Uh, uh. They do it. Uh. Ah, uh, nope, he didn't do it. Huh? <laughs> hey, hit the kiddo dead on after all. You didn't press the switch, Kutaro. <laughs> my, my arm won't move. Just stop it. Please. Ranger, when is the attraction going to end? Hmm? When someone's sacrificed. Kutaro, one of the three idiot girls, or else when the stinger's fire, it'll end. Sarah, there's an antidote in the medical office. An antidote? This Koto giant scorpion ranger mentioned. In the looks of it, it has venom from a pretty delayed effect. I definitely saw an antidote of some same scorpion in the medical office. If you could just end the attraction quick. <laughs> then you might have time to cure him. What an idea to get in your head. It's all riding on you, Sarah. I refuse to give up. So why isn't it... Wait, so, okay, so Sarah knows about AI dolls. I know this because we see this world through her eyes, so why doesn't she say anything? Well, to be fair to her... That is kind of like a, a leap in logic that we made and that you could put, oh, like we know that there are dolls and we know that there are AIs and we know the controllers of the game are AI dolls, but she never made the connection or said that there could be AI dolls of the players. And that's probably the leap of, leap of logic that we have to prove somehow. I don't know how. Somehow we have to prove that idea. Okay, this is the last one. My son, poor Dios. Maybe I should let Gin die. Now are you trying to frame me? Are you trying to roll with this shit because you don't want to sacrifice yourself? That's filthy. It ain't me who's changed. It's you now. That machine man, I was to why brainwashed you after all the kidnappers made it. I don't understand. I just can't get the sense that this is Rico trying to deceive me. Hmm. Someone could only have taken Rico's place when she was alone. Oh, hmm. 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 This is tough. This is tough. We're not really at the point where we can prove the AI doll idea yet. We're trying to prove the idea that someone could have swapped places with Reiko between now and then. Um, actually, no, these are conflicting because he's saying that no matter the disguise, he'd know. And then she's saying the makeup, you could do it similarly enough. So I think these two are in conflict. Let's, let's try that. Wait, what? Are you fucking serious? Is it the order? Nope. Damn it. Hmm. Hmm. This is tough. This is tough. I don't know. We don't really have like a... I feel like the assumption is going to be... Maybe between these two? Nope. Fuck. Maybe it doesn't matter in the order. Maybe you just do it. No, I'm just mashing shit together at this point. I have no idea. Do I get more statements if I talk to them again? Do I have proof that Reiko was alone? When would I... 
Oh, I do, I do. Fuck. Okay, hold up. Let me reload. How do I reload? I have to end the game to reload. Shit. All right, that's fine. We're just going to keep going. If we fuck up, we come back here. But anyways, the, the web will prove that Reiko was alone for a while. This is it. This web of happiness that broke apt earlier. I got this when I, with Reiko, went into the room of lies. That's right, I remember. You gotta reload after all that? <laughs> well, if, uh, Gin ends up dying or Qtar ends up dying, I'll just reload. And if I get to another save point, I'll, I'll see. I'll see. As soon as I took the web of happiness, the lights went out. Wow. I heard Reiko scream. And when I left the room, there was only Reiko with a glove left. For just a moment, Reiko was by herself in the room of lies. And the Reiko that left the room was still wearing gloves on both of her hands. I caught that shit right away. I guess I didn't assume it would be an AI doll. I thought it would just be... I don't even know what I assumed that would be. That's right. At the time she left the room of lies, Reiko had already been replaced. Sarah! The lie in the room of lies wasn't just the web of happiness. The kidnappers devised it as a trap that would send out a fake to confuse us. I get it. There's more to that room than just putting on a dummy item. Say, Reiko, shouldn't you give up soon? Or you don't mean to deny Miss Sarah, do you? No, Reiko, disprove her, please. You're wrong. I'm not a fake. Ain't there still a huge-ass problem? If you're saying I'm a fake, then who the hell am I, really? There's nine of us here, and even Ranger and Saflin. If someone took someone else's place, there'd be fewer people, right? True. Ranger, please tell us, is there any person on the floor we haven't met yet? Eh, I got no obligation to tell you th There is not. No human you have met. Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! No human you have met. No human you have met will be making an appearance here. It can't be real. Get it now. If nobody can take my place, there's no goddamn way. There's a fake. That can't be right. We were just a step away. But I don't know who this fake really is. Sarah Choden. Cease your doubting. Alice. It's not as if I believe her own brother can make a mistake or either, but... No, wait. Sure enough. Am I uncertain that maybe I've had a huge misunderstanding? Cagey's bewildered too. If their identity is a person caught everyone already met, then... You don't mean it's one of the victims? Ridiculous. But... But if we were worry over this anymore, Gindle... You know, we need to drop the fake. Now... If I'm a fake, Sarah could be a fake too, you know? Eh? Didn't she say it earlier? Me and Sarah went in the room of lies together. Only I was replaced with the fake. How can you say that for sure now? I mean... Now, don't give in to her arguments. Sarah, you've chosen get over me. Damn it. Damn it. I can't believe this shit. I trusted you. Don't be fooled now. Sarah's gonna try to trick you to substitute you, so she pushed it. Wait, what? That doesn't even make any sense. That's definitely you. You definitely weigh thirty-five kg. You aren't Reiko. You're a fake. Don't be absurd. That's the real Reiko. Erm. Um, um. Now, please, I'm riding on you. <sighs> fake is appealing to now to protect herself. In that case, we have to have a fair and square discussion. Reiko, let's talk one on one. Sarah, I challenge you. And if I'm mistaken, cut me down with the blade of logic. Let's do it. Let's open up them clouded eyes. Ooh, I so had this earlier. Now I'm gonna make you admit to me that right now, I'm the real Reiko. This person is a fake. Alright, remember the bongos from earlier? No, this isn't true. Uh, that's not true either. These two are conflicting, because he went to prison for three years. So... Hmm, I mean, these are both, they both fit, right? Because he was away for a while. But this is hinging on Alice's credibility, so I'm going to say this one. No, you must have been apart from at least as long as Alice has been in prison. That's only two and a half years. That's plenty of time for a person's thoughts and personality to change. And yet Alice keeps saying you're no different. It's simply him who's convinced of that. Yeah. Yep. Oh, wait, that's not true. That's That's a lie. Was it really equal? You took most of the clear chips we got in the room of lies, Reiko. And after that, did you really share the clear chips without anyone else? W well, that greed isn't like the real Reiko. G 
Uh, wait, what? No, you didn't because your hand's not fucking cut up. And the lack of wound in your hand is bizarre. Now I saw her hand with large fragments stuck in it. It'd be a scar, right? It's not noticeable what is there. Where exactly? You have perfectly smooth skin. You've been following an 11 step skincare routine this whole time. Mm. Uh, wait. You're all being tripped by Ranger's word games. He hasn't said a word about me being a fake. No, but he mentioned the word real very specifically. You don't you can't have real without fake. And this isn't true either. Because he had to specify. I'm going to say this one. That may be true, but he's not saying you're real either. That's because if, if he did, you guys wouldn't be scrambling. Has he ever give, has he ever given you a hint about these kindness of his heart? I mean, that damn ranger wants to be anxious. Don't doubt him. And die. Don't trust him. I can't talk back. Listen, if we say somebody who haven't met has replaced me as a faker. Ain't that contradiction in and of itself? Hmm. No, I mean... Yeah, no humans. You're a doll. The nine of us, Ranger and Saflin, ain't that everybody? Wait, nine. KG, Kana, So, Alice, Now, Sarah, Kin, and... Yeah, you're right. So I think it's this one. No humans. No. Without there being someone we haven't met, the number doesn't line up. Uh, it's as simple as that. If the numbers don't line up, that's because there's no fake at all. That's not necessarily... How can you consider anything else? Besides, you heard Gage telling us the Ranger and Saflin can't lie. Uh, wait, no. Robots, come on. No, come on, robots. No, come on, robots, come on. Oh, yeah, there we go, humans. Why did she say... Humans? Bingo. It's riding on you, that was just obscene. <laughs> Not human. It's an unthinkable, absurd idea. Not compared to everything else that's been happening. But something's lodged itself in my head. I am an AI program of Kasuma Mishima. The AIs are basically super detailed reproduction based on y'all, the participations. In fact, their AIs with hearts possess the superb emotional capabilities. One of the purposes of these dolls were made for is mental relief. Allow me to show you how wonderful function they will make you feel even closer to this doll. <laughs> participations. <laughs> it's a combination of participants and patients because this is a fucking mental ward. If if you could combine an artificial intelligence with an AI, with a doll. Oh, see, she, she did it. She did it herself. Nice. You could create a completely perfect fake. Huh? Sarah, settle down. Do you know what you're saying? I was... I was always wondering. Why did something like an AI Professor Masimba exist in the first place? Why were there dolls made to recreate us in such perfect detail? Maybe... This facility... The kidnappers organization... Is making doll copies of humans. What? You lost your marbles, Sarah. A doll that looks like... Just like Reiko. And an AI that recreates Reiko's personality. The results of combining these two things is... An imposter Reiko. Are you being serious? Sarah Choden. I am. That's how she could fool even her own brother. She's not someone else impersonating her. She's a duplicate. Your claims are an utter mess. Guys, Sarah's lost her cool. We should drop this whole thing. Oh, even you're surprised, huh? Everyone. Eyes full of doubt. Despairing looks. Such was the reaction to my shaking conclusion. Me. The one who was entrusted with our hopes. No dice, huh? I wasn't able to persuade everyone. Gin, I couldn't... I couldn't save you. Now... That's interesting. Huh? It's a bold idea. The kind of absurd conclusion only you could come to, Sarah. I'll take your word for it. I'm on board with this. Keiji! Mr. Policeman's ever your ally, Sarah. Uh, working for nothing for it. I can't think of any other way to break the deadlock. Listen, Gin's at his limit. This is the end. We have to decide. Sarah, give us proof that Reiko's a doll with artificial intelligence. I got it. I got it. I got it. I'll sum it up simply. The Reiko who broke Machine's monitor was real. 
and in the Room of Lies, the real and the fake Reiko got swapped. So this Reiko here is a fake, and you infer she's actually a doll copy. But she won't recognize it. It... <laughs> Thanks for adding that, Jared. It's true, Professor Machine was AI was perfect. I couldn't imagine it was a real professor either. Perfectly replicating a human is possible. There absolutely must be a difference somewhere. I'll prove that I'm a human, alright? What do you want? I'll do anything. Why didn't the AI Mishima have any memory of us, I wonder? Naturally, the personalities of the AIs are based on real peoples, aren't they? Real humans change personality and gain memories. The AI should be updating too. Okay, so. The key piece of evidence is this piece of paper. The breakup article about why they bred up. Because this Reiko is not going to know about that. I just need to figure out how do I use that in this conversation. That doesn't matter. Maybe not. I think Cage is the first one I want to talk to. Real humans change a personality and gain memories. The AI should need updating too. When did the kidnappers do updates, I wonder? Come to think of it. Ranger told me they update memories every six months and personalities every three years. I see. But from memories, he said they could update in just a days if they wanted to. One day. So she doesn't remember destroying the monitor because she swapped out of the room of lies less than a day after destroying it. Aha, that would make sense. Still, that alone isn't definitive proof. Oh god, here comes the fucking shot. <clears throat> well now, the third injection's coming up soon. Uh... Hang in there again. Oh yeah, I've got a tip for y'all. The five injections aptly have different amounts of concentrations. What? The later you get, the more concentrated the venom. That's how he was able to endure the first two. No. I can say this with certainty, the third one will be a lethal dose for that kid. It's your last chance. Good luck. Okay, okay. I didn't AI Yushima. Memories of all. I mean, I know that because of this, right? Updated regularly. I'm going to do this one. Actually, the person has AR is based on real peoples, right? Time to step up, Qtar. That man needs to grow some fucking baseballs. If you could completely reproduce the original uh, original's personality, that's on the whole other level than mimicry. I mean, that's basically cloning. If her brother Alice can't see through it, it'd be downright impossible for us to. Still, I'm curious. Alice never met Riker after he was arrested and put in prison, right? Normally, if you hadn't met in years, even if it weren't the same, real person, wouldn't you think they've kind of changed? Yet, Alice seems pretty confident in this assertion. True. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, hmm. I mean, this proof. Hmm, that's kind of tough. I don't know. And don't we dare treat him as a hero if he finally does get his shit together. <laughs> No, it, it finally means he stepped up and is acting like a reasonable person, like protecting the fucking kid. In his dissertation. In this dissertation about AI mimicry replication. <laughs> it's just not thinkable that I wouldn't notice the difference, however slight. Calm down, please. Yes, I've been in prison for two and a half years and I never had any contact with Reiko. And we reunited, I didn't think she was kinder. I didn't think she was kinder. Had changed a bit. But I've realized in these past few days she hasn't changed at all. Reiko is Reiko. That Reiko, a fake, don't make me laugh. Wait, but didn't you just say that she changed, right? So, wouldn't that... Don't they contradict each other? It's so saying that she changed after a while. Fuck! Okay, what about Keiji's thing about the AI? Fuck! Okay, let me talk to Akana then. Uh, if this Reiko is a fake, why should she not have memories of us just like the Mishima AI? Come to think of it. Oh, fuck, this is the same information. Damn it. Hmm, I don't know, but I'm guessing they erased those memories to fix the error. That makes sense, but then why oh, Why did he naturally accept his death when we met us? Was it because he was around now? That could be it. Oh, well, guitar's getting shot. The third dot will be fired shortly. Oh, too bad. Guess the sub game be closing out on this one. What a shame, kid. Seems like everyone just left you to die, yeah. Please, stop. Let me take his- We already went through this. Sarah again. Five. Help you, Taro. Four. Somebody. Three. 
I can't do anything. Only watch. Two. <laughs> Mom. One. Uh, is that why you care? Just because of the fucking orphanage, bro? Is that what you needed to, like, build up the gumption to fucking switch out with him? Bruh. Your parents. Bro, come on. The switch has been pushed. Changing target to first place participant. Ugh. Sorry, Yin. If I had pressed it from the start, you wouldn't have to be scared. Gin! Kutaro! I think they're dead. Hmm. Hang on, hang on, you two. I'll get the antidote right away. You best remember we were riding on slowly return to the surface. No, this can't be! Stay with us, both of you, please! Gin, you can't die. You got parents, right? Gin! Sayer. Let's go look for Raiko. I, I can't leave these two. The policeman, he'll surely bring the antidote. We should do what we have to do. But Gin looks so weak, and even Kutaro. We're going, Sarah! And then I was dragged out of the room. Sorry. No. Say, tell me you didn't save over the very beginning of this since that very insane game. No, no, no. I've been doing like some rotating saves, so I have a couple. I just don't know what the one is before I started doing like multiple big oofs in a row. Aren't you late? Welcome to the Room of Lights. The stage is all set. Oh, whoa. Hey there. Wait, was I supposed to lose that? Reiko. Who's this chick? Doesn't she look exactly like me? She was really here. Then I am seriously a duplicate. Huh? Confessing it that easily is so boring. See, I was thinking of a quiz. What? Have you guys ever heard of doppelgangers? Someone witnessing your summer you never went, or else you meet in another you? In some countries, the phenomenon is considered an omen of death. As soon as they finished talking, a sound began ringing. What the hell? Why my car stop making that noise? Mine too. <laughs> it's begun. Ranger, what's the meaning of this? It's because they're doppelgangers. We don't need two Reiko Yabusames. Only one needs to survive. No. Our. You're kidding me. This ain't fair. I'm gonna tear this thing off. <laughs> I wonder what type of death that color will give. Can't you wait? Stop it already, Ranger. You three idiot girls are our friendly. Well then, I'll let you choose who to save. Save whoever you like. If you don't like pick either, both will die. This is awful. We abandoned getting to protect his life for the fake Reiko and yet... Putting people's lives on the scale like this. I've had enough of it. I think you've got something wrong here. Huh? Don't be so self-centered, Sarah Choden. The one I'm saying I'll let choose is... Now, Echo Garo, I'm gonna have you pick. Me. Don't be stupid. It's just about choosing the real one, right? <sighs> you just full of complaints, ain't you? As a special service, how about you use this? The fuck is that? The knife Kai used to commit suicide. A knife. It's mine. The right Reiko grabbed the knife. Now, pick me if you don't want to suffer. What? I'm serious, this ain't just a threat. If I'm gonna die, then not only now. Sarah, I'm taking you with me too. Damn, holy shit. You can't do such a thing. Because you're a copy of Reiko. Even in this short time I understood, you can't possibly hurt a friend. So I'm sorry. Reiko's my friend too, I need to save her. Stop. I want to save the lift. Ah. Huh? Oh! Ah. Reiko! Reiko! <laughs> I killed her. I killed her. I won. I survived. Why? Why isn't the collar stopping? Huh? Well, that's strange. Maybe because now didn't choose? <laughs> you never intended to let the fake survive from the start, did you? <laughs> Bop. 
Yeah, Real Reco's dead. Gin is dead. Futaro's dead. It's a uh, it's been a deadly game. So is that not a game over? What is this? Oh God, not the brother. Why is Reco in this state? Wake her up now, Sarah. Won't you explain? Reiko is... What are you trying to say? Ah, couldn't even come to see her die. Some sibling you are, eh? That can't be. <laughs> you enjoy that Maka rune. It's unconceivable that rune uh, Reiko could die. You see, you see how much she's bleeding? Come on, you know it. This is fake Reiko's blood, right? I won't be fooled. Nope, the fakes don't even bleed. Look, collapsed over there. The headless Reiko is the fake. No, I won't believe you. Reiko's much stronger, luckier, and more hateful than me. She's a person whose life has value. My one and only sister. She's garbage now. It's just a corpse. Give her back. Give Reiko back! <laughs> so scary, Alice. I'll kill you. You're dead. If you kill a floor master, are you gonna die, you know? Oh well, seems I'll just have to kill you too. Oh. Damn. Wait, who has a gun? Huh? A gun? What? You stepped out of line, Rio Ranger. I have no more use for you. D dad What the? Dad, why? What is going on? Fix me already, Dad! Unfortunately, Rio Ranger, this is farewell. What are you saying? I don't want to... Do, do you hate me or something? Wasn't I your greatest masterpiece, Dad? This is in the past. Why do you think you were the most human of all the dolls I created? Because you would put your affection into me the most. Wrong. It was jealousy. I implanted your emotion program an excessive sense of inferiority and hatred towards humans. Humans have it nice. I envy humans. Why am I a doll? What's so great about humans? And so on. With that complex you could never overcome. You burned with deep jealousy and truly qualified as human. This convinced me that it makes negative fashion. Uh, this convinced me that it is negative emotions that make a human. That's... Yet, for the burning flame of jealousy, you turn on one into a monster that is just as human. You are an impediment to the plan of failure. Well then, I apologize for to witness such unsightliness, everyone. I invite you now to the main game. This time, card data for the wait. What? Oh fuck, dude, no. Card data for the key master, sacrifice, sage, and commoners of industry tablets you possess. This has been done at random, and I imagine some of you may be dissatisfied with your roles. In this case, you may use the trading function to forcibly swap cards with another. However, you must use the me tokens you've earned in order to utilize this function. The trust tokens you've earned up to this point will be essential in deciding this battle. What in the world? Oh god, I have the same voice, don't I? <clears throat> what in the world? Just who are you people? I am the reception doll. No, let us do away with tedious set dressing. I am Gashu Sato, a researcher in negative emotions. Now let the main game begin. Uh, you up? Thought I was gonna die, meow. Sorry, the switch. You pressed it for me, wolf. No, nah, I hesitated at the last second. It's fine, meow. I'm alive, wolf. Again. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, meow. Your turn to die. Death game by majority. Chapter 2, part 1. And, holy fuck. Wait, so... 
I didn't get a bad ending? Should I go back and figure out how to... <sighs> Fuck, wait. Hmm. I mean, I fucked up the trial, right? But if I had done it perfectly, would Reiko not have died? I mean, I guess the scenario would be that I save... Reiko would be the better ending, but does somebody else die in the stead? I wouldn't say it's a bad ending, but you can keep some characters alive. Okay, so if I redo that, I can save Reiko, potentially. Or it might get, like, a different ending and someone else dies. Hmm. Do I do that? Hmm. It's kind of late. But I'm going to take you on a stroll down memory lane, recap the story so far. No, I, I don't want to recap the story. I'm Gucci. I know how the story goes. Wait, a trade for a trade. Somebody will die in her stead. Oh, wait, what? Huh. Well, shit. Yeah, can we trade so? <laughs> can I push so down the hole? I'll do that trade. <laughs> or is it a character that I like? <laughs> Basically, everybody but so. <laughs> uh, so you said you're going to play Dead Rising after this game, right? Uh, Yeah, it's on my list. Uh, Let me think. I think if I finish this game... Let's see. I, I wanted to do something different this weekend. Uh, and if I do finish it by this weekend, I'd probably play Dead Rising. If I don't finish it by then, I end up going into next week, I'd probably play something else and then play Dead Rising after that. Because I haven't done, like, two running playthroughs in a little bit since because of Dark Souls and this. I'm just going to skip the summary. Fuck it. Jeez, what a bull. All right, I get you. Hey, you know what a majority vote is? One vote. Well, I mean, okay. I would have redone it if... Here's my thought process. I would have redone it if it was like... Um, I would have redone it if it was like I could save all of their lives and no one died. But if it's just a matter of like swapping Reiko for somebody else... I'm fine with keeping that as like a consequence of me uh, failing to solve the puzzle. Because honestly, in that scenario, I feel like the only other person who would die could either be... I don't know, I feel like... Actually, you know, it, it would have to be now, right? It would have to be now, because only now and Reiko are on the platform. So, basically, in that situation, it's only now or Reiko who dies. And I guess if one of them has to die, my my instinct would probably say Reiko. Because I feel like now... Hmm. That's tough. I don't know. That's a tough choice. I feel like some bullshit's gonna happen and now it's gonna die. Another vote. Enough of Kai glimpses. Deciding what I want to request so I don't request something close in line. Uh... Hunter, we can trade, so... Hold up, let me reload this real quick. <laughs> let me re let me let me reload this real quick. Let me just uh, find a safe spot and reload real quick. <laughs> Wait, it's So and Kana or Reiko or Alice. Oh, I'm I'm going back. Fuck so. Hold up, hold up, hold up. No, 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 no. We we going back. No, 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 no. We going back. We going back. <laughs> Where's my sucker? Where's my fucking safe file? <laughs> they dredge up kind of stab me. Hey, long, long time no see. Gotten used to majority votes yet? Yep. Shut up. Fucking dumbass. <laughs> Are you mad? Well, keep it up. The vote for who you hate. Kill decisively so you can survive. Kill the people who get in your way. No big, no big. It's not cause your fault. Ain't I right? So, huh? You hate Alice anyways, not gonna lie. Big Sick Reiko better. But wait. Wait, wait. Are you saying... Wait, wait. Cece, are you saying that we either have to kill Reiko and Alice? Or... So or Reiko. And then Kana or Alice. And then... So or Kana. Huh? Your continence has really changed. <laughs> so funny. Do your best. Don't kill Kana. But, like, I have the opportunity to kill So. 
like how could I not? I'd cry, but like I get, I get to kill so. It's like too tempting. It's Reiko or Alice. Oh, it's Kana or so, and then it's Reiko and Alice. Oh, so in that situation, either Alice dies or Reiko dies. And then later on, either Kana dies or So dies. Oh, okay. I get what you're saying. Okay. So if I replay it, I'm just going to end up killing Alice. I mean, hmm, that's actually a different choice. I thought it would be. <laughs> We're going to reload. No, no. Okay. So I think, okay. Hmm. That's fucking tough. Okay. I can't get rid of so now. Fuck! Damn it. All right. Is it even worth reloading then? I don't think so. Hmm. I mean, I'm kind of indifferent to Reiko and Alice. They've just kind of been like, meh. I think Alice is more interesting, I guess, because he knows who so is. I don't really know anything about Reiko, to be honest. I mean, she's nice, but like... Is it worth sacrificing Alice for? I think I'm just going to go with that choice then. But I am 10,000% reloading if I get the chance to kill So. I'm not even going to fucking hesitate. All right, let's see. Well, did I miss anything? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah. Rune, to answer your question about what I'm planning to do later. Uh, so... Fuck, I spoiled it. It's okay, CC, don't worry about it. I mean, I assume you'd have choices later, right? And it's like, I already passed one point. Uh, all right, I don't go to bed. Hey, Demetrio, thanks so much for stopping by, man. And again, thank you so much for the raid. I hope you enjoy the stream. I hope you rest up, take care, have a good night, and I hope I can catch you another time. Night, my man. Bro ruined my life the moment I had some pity. <laughs> Bro, so I fucking, I don't, I honestly, CC. You're making me more excited to play this game because I just want to fucking kill so. But let's, uh, I need to get to a save point so I can, uh, end stream. But to answer Rune's question about what I'm planning to play, after I finish this, uh, depending on if it's the weekend or not, and depending on, um, like what day, I'm either going to be playing The Forest with you and Sunny. I was going to ask like later, uh, Dead Rising, or, uh, a game called like Eus, like a JRPG. I was going to check it out. One of those three was on my mind. I need to tear all these papers off the wall and throw them away. Oh God, what the fuck? Uh, can't seem to throw these papers away. It's just a bunch of bleeding eyeballs. Bunch of ble fucking bleeding eyeballs all over the place. I can't escape. I can't complete. So gloomy. Can I leave? Run. I'm collapsed on the floor. Why am I inside So's head right now? I remember, this is Kai's laptop that I found on the first floor. It's gone. It was stolen. If I missed now, would she... I've collapsed on the floor. Oh, when I started bleeding out terribly. <laughs> you should keep So alive for the sake of conflict that makes it interesting. <laughs> I hate this motherfucker, bro. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> I see. That time has now attacked me. Every remaining trace, all of it. Oh, wait, what? I'm dead. Wait, what? What do you mean, dead? You're not dead. Are there multiple copies? What's this? Obtained a frying pan. Oh. So gloomy. Dead men tell no tales, right, Kai? Run. We've had a fake so. That's what I'm thinking, based on that. Suspicious. And also the fact that Alice mentioned a second so Hiyori. How far are you going to run? Run? Me? No one needs you. Why do you live? I'm astonished by everyone just refusing to ever doubt that you're right. Isn't this enough? Here, I'll kill you. Sure enough, that's your true nature. It's what? It's your turn to die, so. Sarah! What the fuck is happening, bro? What? I 
I see I see we're getting a little crazy in the studio tonight. So <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. Let's go. <laughs> Please wake up. Ugh. Connor. This is my room. Don't startle me. Don't startle me all of a sudden. You're all I have left, so... Please don't suddenly collapse. Sorry. Just relax. If you're beating, I'll tell you how to survive. Kana. Don't you betray me. Okay. Well then, let's start our strategy meeting. <laughs> Why do I have to play as this motherfucker, bro? Should I keep playing this game, bro? I don't want to play as so, man. <laughs> give, give me a fucking different MC, man. Please. You too. I really want to spell something. Uh, patience. Patience. I don't mind spoilers, but patience is also good. Whatever you want. The information is kind of significant in a way. It's kind of... Bro is terrified of a high schooler. Kind of funny. I hate everything about this. Yeah, me too, bro. I don't fucking... Uh... You too, uh, you too, Kitaro. <laughs> this is getting fun. Your turn to die. Death by majority. Hey. Is playing an instrument fun? Huh? You interested, bro? Watching you makes me want to play, Reiko. You're too clumsy, bro. Doubt you even can. So mean. <laughs> Don't whine about it. Alright, I'll teach you. You mean it? And if you get bored of it, I'll kick your butt. Of course I won't get bored. Hey, Reiko. Eh, hey, what's up? Someday, let's make a band for our debut. For real? I'll make songs and you'll sing them. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Ha ha ha. Sounds great, don't forget it, bro. Oh, I see this is like the same cutscene, right? Like, uh... One of those two die, you know? Don't you ever forget. Makes sense, makes sense. <laughs> Reiko, you were really kind. Such a good kid. Alice lost someone precious to him. Just like now, lost her teacher. Just like Kana lost her sister. Just like I lost my best friend. Reiko. She was the most trustworthy ally to me, too. It's painful. It's sad. But, but, we can't just stay here forever. Alice, now. Sarah Troden, you're in the way. Be gone. I know how you feel, but the main game's going to start again. They're giving an explanation. Please come to medical office. You sure are kind. Huh? It shouldn't matter to you if nothing's unfavorable happens to us. In the main game, everyone is an enemy. Again, at least two people will die. It might be you and me next. That may be true. But I don't think giving up on living and thinking is the right thing to do. If we, if we diligently think about it, I'm sure there's a path. A path. I've long since passed up such a thing. If so, I stubbornly lived on. Because I thought someday, my parents, or Reiko, would repay me. There's no path anymore. Let's go, I else. Now? Hey now, Ekogaro. What are you? Now remove the gloves from Reiko's body. I need to deliver these. There's surely someone else waiting who treasures Reiko as much as this. No. Alice. Please, you take one of these two. Alex accepted one of the gloves. I'm going to. I need to move forward. Forward. Sarah Troden, I will tell you this. The name of the man I killed was So Hiori. Huh? I don't care about So Hiori at this point. Who I really need to kill is... Alice. Those were the eyes of revenge. Revenge to an enemy who plotted the death game. Anger and hate. Those made the only path... That made the only path that Alice would move now. Then what path will I choose? 
That's obvious. I won't let anyone else die. The main game, I won't let it happen. You? You can't save anybody, Sarah. I'm not going to lose. Alright, cool. Uh, so, I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna lock in, um... I'm gonna lock in... Her li- Hey, you! Thank you so much for the raid! What's going on, Raiders? How you doing today? Uh, you, how's your stream? What you playing? What's up, everybody? Welcome in. We just had a very pivotal moment uh, where a character died, and I decided that I'm going to leave her dead instead of uh, sacrificing somebody else. So, so do indeed gotta go. I agree with that totally, totally, totally. He should do a round two and kill so again. I wish I could. I wish I could. Really wish I could. Man, keep Reko alive. She's awesome. Letting Reko die in exchange for Alice is crazy. Term, CC. We're gonna let we're gonna let Alice live. We're gonna I'm gonna live with our mistake. But I'm gonna take every opportunity I get to try to kill So. Hundred percent. Every opportunity I have, that motherfucker's dying. I'm not gonna let him escape. Pretty good. Just played some FF14 with Caps and Feldman. Oh, nice. Well, we had a good time. Uh, let's see. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Hmm. Should I even? Yes, but I am. Uh, I am. Oh God, not what I want to do. I am uh, going to save again. I'm going to commit to this decision. I'm going to commit to it. We're done. That's it. Not going back. But uh, we are going to uh, end stream. <laughs> Let me know if you ever want to try FF14. That fucking gun sure is uh, sharp. It certainly is sharp, you. <laughs> I'm not much of an MMO guy. But, you know, maybe in some far-flung future, if FF14 really catches my eye, I will, uh, I will give it a... I'll give it a whack, and you'll be the first one I talk to. Let me put that right there. Boo. But, you know, sadly, it is late, and I'm going to end stream, but we will be back tomorrow with uh, more Your Return to Die. I am not going to stop until we're finished with this game. It's just a pleasure every single time. Yes, we are going to, we are going to kill So. That is my fucking mission in life. I am 100% going to make sure that that motherfucker suffers one of the harshest deaths that uh, an anime characters ever experienced. And I'm sure there's a lot of terrible ones, but we're going to try our best. We're really going to fucking dig in there and find like a really bad example. I'm not going to stop until we kill so. <laughs> boo, boo, boo. You guys, <laughs> term, you motherfucker, you want to miss classes again? Huh? <laughs> you want to stay up until the dead of night? Hmm, let's see. When they cry. Oh, that is a good example. Wait, how do I? Oh, I see what I gotta do. Hold up. Let me get rid of that. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Uh, let us see who is online. Uh, maybe not that one. Tuber E N. Yes, but, um, I do have them in a few hours. Yeah, exactly, you fuck. <laughs> I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for you. Specifically for you. No, but, um, don't worry. I, like, I think, based on the way that the streams are going, it's probably going to take me two streams to finish the next chapter and... Uh, what is it? Uh, we still have, we just have two chapters left, right? We have chapter 2-2, two, two, and then we have chapter 3-1, right? And then that's it, that's all that's available. So we have four, four more streams, I guess? Going up my pace right now. And I guess, I don't know how quick the next chapter is going to go. We're going to have to see. We're going to have to see how, how well we do. Mm. Hmm. I was gonna pick someone else playing your turn to die, but I guess no one plays up late in the night contemplating uh, various ways to torture and kill uh, Sohiori. Maybe enough people are doing that already in their personal lives and they don't feel like uh, spreading misfortune onto more people. Is it this one? Nope. 
What about... Oh, that'd be a good one. Really? One person? Huh. Really it's a driving force for me at this point. <laughs> you know, I actually, like... I think, for example, some of the characters are kind of underdeveloped but they get kind of like a like a one note shtick but like they do it like really well you know they like do a very good job of um establishing their core trait and like really milking it for all it's worth instead of just kind of landing being like a one trick pony like they explore different parts of it which i think is kind of interesting and i'm interested to see how sarah and so change going forward and that is the only thing in my brain, like, really making me consider, like, do I want to kill? Do I want to kill so? Like, do I actually want to kill him? Because, like, yeah, I fucking hate his guts. But like CC said, he is kind of interesting. So it's like, it kind of makes me wonder. It makes me wonder, like, what is what is the potentiality? What could we possibly see if I keep him alive for one more chapter? Although, actually, CC in term, is the next chapter the last chapter of the game? Or is there, like, going to be more light spoilers light spoilers like how many people are dead you know light spoiler me how many people are alive or dead by the end of like what's available now i assume i can't like giga fuck up and murder like almost everybody at the same time right i hope i hope <laughs> i hope i hope i hope uh, if you want to say shit, I've fused Von Ross playing Persona 5. Hey, Red, yeah, Jared, if you got any raid suggestions, uh, I'm down. And if anybody else has some raid suggestions as well, I'm totally open. Just uh, throw my way and I'll, uh, I'll just throw in a big old scramble and we'll see which one gets popped up. Okay, so let's see. You said Von World. He's interesting. What's his thing, you know? Like, wonder why he's like that. He, hey, it's decent, not that bad. See, I feel like you're, CC, I feel like you're secretly a, a, uh, a big So fan. So, you know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Uh, Jason Korn. Uh, Jason Korn's, oh, I remember that. Uh, Von World and Suave Sloth. Yes, I do see them. Rock, J, Zen, B. Chrono's live, that is true. Okay, wait, how many is that? Like, one, two... Two more die? That sounds about right, yeah. I'm mean, not so, so I'm just kind of interested in this character. Ah, I see, so I wonder where they take it. Okay, let me. So, Jason Corns, Von World, Swoof Sloth, Rock J, Sand B, and then Chrono. So we're gonna do two of two, so it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, and then whichever one we pick on, we will raid. Let me just pop up a number, random number generator real quick. God, I can't fucking see, bro. I'm going blind. I'm going blind. Random number generator. It's probably more than too soon. I haven't had the trial yet in the last episode, so probably... Oh, wait, so... Oh, two die just in the first area. That's fucking crazy. Okay, so we're going to do... Uh, one, two, Jason Corns. Three, four, Von World. Uh, five, six, Suave Sloth. Uh, seven, eight, Rock... Uh, J Zan B, and then 910 is gonna be Chrono Triggers. Okay, and the number we got is 7. So that is. That is. Rock J Zan B. Grab that name real quick. Quick. Make sure it's live. Yep. Good to go, good to go. Okay, they're playing Resident Evil 2 Remake. Punch in the raid. Bang, bap. All right, there we go. Okay, so I'll be back tomorrow with uh, more Your Turn to Die, Death by Majority Game. But guys, thank you so much for sticking around and watching the whole stream. I hope you had fun. I hope you're having a good start to your week. Cannot wait to stream tomorrow and catch up with you guys. So I hope you have a good night. Take care and rest up. I'll, uh, I'll catch you later. CC, Term, Rune, Jaredin, uh, you, uh, Sonny, and anyone still listening. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you tomorrow. Night. Peace.